Hello and welcome everybody to the GDQ Hot Fix. I'm here hosting another one. My name's Echi. Uh, this is one that's going to be very special because uh, this is a run that I've been wanting to show for uh, quite a while now. And it's a game that, as far as I know, has never been shown on GDQ. Primarily because the speedrun is incredibly long. <laughs> so uh, this is Pokemon Moon, any percent. Uh, being ran by Headbob here, the current world record holder. Uh, super excited for this to, to finally have the opportunity and the time to like show this run. So uh, I don't think there's much more to say. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and throw it off to Headbob to get us started. All right. Well, thank you, Eshi. Really appreciate it. Um, like like I said, this is Pokemon Moon. This is going to be a one of the first times it's ever been shown in a big stage marathon, which is really exciting. Um, so I think um, we'll just jump into it, and then we'll um, I'll. I'll Show off the commentators and we'll talk a little bit about the run. Um, so we'll start counting down in three, two, one, go. Good luck, head bob. All right. Good luck, head bob. Thank you, thank you. So we have uh, commentators here today. Uh, if you want to introduce yourselves, Garf, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm Garfield the Lightning. I ran this game quite a long time ago uh, when it first came out. Um, I've not run it for a while, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to offer a bit of historical perspective on on this run and uh, be co and you know it'll be fun to be caught out by. Wait, I didn't used to do that. Uh, whenever, <laughs> whenever, whenever strats like that come up. And I'm Wartab. I. Uh... I run this game currently as well. Um, this was my first ever speedrun, so special place in my heart. Yeah, both of these guys had a major impact in, in routing this game and making the route to where it is today, so definitely would not be the same without them. Um, and I'm Head Bob. I am, like, as you said, world record holder. Um, I started running this game a couple of years ago. Um, I've done a couple things with the route, but not too much. Definitely most of the stuff has been from these two and a couple other people. Um, but yeah, this game is really interesting. Um, we're in the Alola region, Generation 7. Um, there's a lot of, this, this game's notorious for having a lot of cutscenes. Um, making it a very long run, despite the fact there's like a lot of, there's a lot of different fights, there's a lot of different sections of the game. Um, but there's a lot of cutscenes that are unskippable at this point in the game. There's going to be a skip cutscene button that is introduced later on in the Pokemon franchise, but we don't have that luxury here. So we're going to get to see a bunch of different fun movies throughout this run. Um, and something interesting about this game, and the uh, the game that comes after Ultra Moon, is that the formula for the Pokemon game is completely scrambled here. Normally in a Pokemon game you'd expect like um, a certain amount of gyms, the Elite Four, whatever. This game kind of turns that on its head for a little bit. Um, where instead of gym leaders, you're facing different trials. So that might entail like a puzzle or killing a couple Pokemon and then beating a totem Pokemon at the end, which is just like a, a boss, basically. Um, and so that was the first time this had ever been done in the Pokemon franchise. And so definitely is a bit of an outlier for that reason. Yeah, it's a bit of a divisive thing among the Pokemon community, although I guess, you know, in the Pokemon community, you have a lot of things that are, end up being pretty divisive. But uh, but yeah, it, 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 it kind of makes those battles because uh, they, ha they, ha they do have normal battles too. But like in the trial battles, they you have like they're, 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 it, the way they're set up makes them feel it gives them a different feel to a lot of the other fights. And I, I definitely appreciated that uh, when I played through this game casually. Yeah, it's very it's very yeah. divisive. You either love it or you hate it. And there's also like, yeah. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, it made the games also much harder in my opinion, because I kind of needed a little bit of a more hard experience after Gen Six. True. Yeah, they did a lot to make this game a fair bit harder than the than the past generation. Uh, we can talk about that more when we come when we when we come when we when we come to it. But uh yeah this game and particularly the sequel, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, uh are, are are among the most difficult games in the Pokemon series, in my opinion. Yeah. They they definitely I, 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 I wanna say Ultra Moon is one of the most, if not the most 
difficult game. I think is. that's the most difficult yeah, game, yeah. personally, yeah. There's just, like, there's just so much that goes into it. Um, like, you get on some of the totem Pokemon, even in this game, too, you get you get EV spreads, you get stat boosts, you get... Um, one versus two one battles. One versus two battles, yeah. <laughs> Which, again, all these things are pretty much exclusively new to this game and then they, they would do this later in the in the franchise sometimes with the uh with the ev spreads or whatever but it was definitely revolutionary for the time and one of the hardest parts of the game is uh getting you started because that takes 16 minutes if you do it optimally <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, th I thought you. Were, I, th I thought. I thought you were going to say that one of the hardest parts of this game was keeping Nebby in the bag after when he was coming up to that cutscene. Exactly. <laughs> Nebby does not like to stay in the bag. Oh yeah, we actually didn't mention this, but um, you saw we started right next to the bed um, instead of from the beginning of the game, and that was a timing change that was done a couple of years ago at this point. Um, and basically, what we're skipping is we're setting our gender, we're setting our name. Um, and we're going through like an unskippable, pretty extensive movie towards the beginning. Um, and so runners just decided that it wasn't enough variance to justify making the reset for the starter an extra five minutes longer. So, um, so we decided to shorten it a little bit. So that's why we started where we did. I saw this cutscene way too often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Ultra Sun and Moon, this cutscene is a little bit different in that you already have a Pokemon when you come here, so you actually end up fighting one of the Spearows instead of um, this happening. There's just a, there's a lot of different like slight variations like that in Ultra Moon versus Moon, like that casual viewers and players may not necessarily notice when they play through the game for the first time. I feel like this is just a, a, a subtle inclination they're going to make this game harder, like almost kill off the main character before you get your starter, you know? <laughs> it's like you're not, you're, you're not in for an easy time here. So, um, if there are any shiny hunters in the chat, um, we're about to come to the last spot where you can save before you get your starter. So this makes... Uh, resetting for a shiny starter, one of the most difficult shiny hunts that you can do in Pokemon up to this point. It's like a three, four minute reset in order to actually see whether it's shiny or not. And that, that goes for stats too, so it would be very difficult to reset for a starter and get good stats. So um, we will be prepared if something bad happens with our with our Poplio here. Yeah, because this run does use Poplio for the vast majority of the run, so we want a Poplio that isn't bad. Yeah, Pop so Poplio is just like... Matter, look. Poplio is like, far and away, the best of the three starters, for sure. Like, it's it's typing is... It suits it very well. It has a lot of different offensive um, possibilities with, you know, Sparkling Aria and Moonblast, and we're going to see some other moves as well that make it really good. Its defensive typing is pretty solid as well. Its stat build is really nice. Um, I think I saw a video somewhere, like if if all the different starters were possibilities for this game, Primarina would still be the best to play through it with. Just because like it, it just it suits so so many of the major battles so well. Yeah, you, barely, because... you, barely, you barely have to go out of the way for any of any of your any of your, any of the moves you do teach it as well. Like with um uh, you, you, if you like picked, if you like pick something like Litten, Litten, you might have to, you might want to go out of your way for acrobatics, which is like a, which is like a several minute detour. Right. Yeah, pre marina just and gets all the moves it needs when just by level up or by TMs that are given to you or whatever. So we're gonna pick Poplio here, like we said. Um, and we're gonna hopefully hopefully it's gonna be good um we need uh, a certain threshold of special attack and speed um to make our poplio good especially with some of the newer routes having really good special attack really benefits you so the bar for special attack in this run is is fairly high if you if you want it to be 
Yeah, if you if you are really strict about your stats, I think it's only like thirty two percent of populus that are actually runnable. Mm -hmm. And this this reset is not very forgiving. It's quite quite long, as we as we talked about. And when we get our Poplio, we're gonna um, do something a little bit unconventional. Um, this isn't really done in any other Pokemon speedrun. Um, we're gonna use Pokemon Refresh or Pokemon Ami Pokemon Ami's equivalent in Gen Six. Um, basically, we're gonna you know feed it beans. We're gonna give some care, um, and you're gonna see why later. We can explain a little bit later, but um, especially in this game, it makes it makes a lot of sense to, to do that um, for a variety of reasons. It's also great that this feature is finally used in a speedrun. It doesn't look fast, but um, it's definitely the, the minute that is well used. Yeah, so we're not actually going to get max or the affection level that we need from this session right here. So we're going to go back into it later on to finish it out. But right now we're just going to do as much as we can and then come back to it later. Yeah, you kind of get diminishing returns on these pets after if you if you do, if you if you do too many of them at once, probably you just get a bit tired of it. So uh, you have to exit here and then come back and finish and finish off the the care later on. Yeah. So basically, what that does um, is when we get to level two affection, which is going to happen after we go back into Pokemon Refresh later on. Um, we're going to get um, 1.2x experience on any experience we get. In addition to that, which is not the case in Pokemon Ami, um, all the cafes in each of the Pokemon centers give rare candies for however many beans you decide to feed your Pokemon. And doing this, we're going to feed our Pokemon five beans over the course of uh, these two sessions. So we're going to get a rare candy for essentially free. So that's really, really nice to have. Yeah, you really need that experience for one specific battle, and you really need to be evolved by that point. But uh, more than that, in like six hours. <laughs> well, hold on, not that long, right? <laughs> Please. Hopefully, not that long. <laughs> Hopefully, Garfield can have his dinner before midnight. That is yeah. that, that that is uh, that is my challenge to head for today. Huh? That is not bad. That actually That's actually quite good. good, yeah. Legit run, here we go. So we Isn't have... Like... Let's plus speed, for sure. This is huge. Isn't this a naive nature? I, 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 th I think, think it's, it's naive like... with high speed F, right? Yeah, yeah high speed F, that is perfect. Incredible, yeah. Because <laughs> um, negative special defense isn't bad for the run overall, but for the early game it's really rough. <laughs> Yeah, there's one yeah. fight in particular you um, you absolutely do not want terrible special defense for. Yeah, I think you can get around it, but it's kind of awkward. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I I rooted that out, so it's not that bad anymore. Except if you speed tie the Magnemite. <laughs> but then you can even like use a rare candy and lose forty five seconds later. Yep, really bad. <laughs> I think if I had bad spit after, I probably would have just taken the backup. It's just, it's, it's too much of a hassle, I think. With plus speed? I probably should finish putting in my stats. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Okay, so... As the game just politely said, it's the next day, and um, we have our starter, we're back at our mom's house. Um, and we're about to go back out again, and we're going to learn how to catch Pokemon from Kakui here. Um, so, we're going to get Pokeballs, and we're going to catch a friend, which, uh, see what that is later. But, um, we do have to catch another Pokemon for the run, so that we can, uh, basically 
continue on with the storyline because there's one fight where you have to have two Pokemon in order to continue on, whereas otherwise they just won't let you buy a mandatory double battle. And now Kukui showing us how to catch Pokemon without using that newest Gen 7 woodcut feature to use Pokeballs. Yeah, he's not a speedrunner, evidently. The Pokeball's right there, man. He didn't even turn off animations. <laughs> I can't believe he's actually attacking on the first time he goes through this route. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this game has a nice mechanic where the first time you, uh, where, during this section in particular, you can just chuck a Pokeball and it will guaranteed catch anything you're trying to get. But it uh, only works for this section of the game, I believe. Like, if you try to come back here later and try it, it doesn't work anymore. I think that's right, yeah. But we'll just, we'll just give him the benefit of the doubt and say he doesn't know that, I guess. But we're gonna, we're gonna make full use of that in a moment, for sure. And surely your first encounter won't be a level 3 picky pack with one IV speed. And keen eye. Whoa, whoa. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be very unlikely if that were to happen. That's a lot of conditions that have to be met. Wow. Okay, it's a picky pack. Nothing, nothing unusual so far. Yeah. So yeah, you can just press Y twice and it sends you straight to the Pokeball throw. Level 3, how did he know? Okay, now we gotta check its IV to make sure it's one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we probably don't have to do that. <laughs> Just trust me, it is. Unlike what Garf told me, it was the zero IV. I, I, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, there, was, there was one point, there was one point where I was like wanting to root, root picky packs through the game, and uh, so I, so I kept catching this tutorial picky pack, and uh, noticed that its speed IV was always. I, I knew it was either zero or one. I just assumed it was zero because, like, why would they set it to one? But uh, <laughs> apparently, apparently they do. I don't get it. But uh, yeah, they always make it so that it's level three, one speed IV, keen eye, and it's yeah, it's weird. But uh, it's 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 fixed in that regard. The other IVs um, are random. Really, that's interesting. But the speed IV is one, and the nature is random too. It's uh yeah I mean the um we probably haven't even really explained IVs but they they're they're a value that ra from every stat that ranges from zero to thirty one that basically just indicates how good the stat is in general so a speed IV of one is uh is bad <laughs> for Poplio uh, for not for Poplio for for Pikachu um, it's also pretty bad for Poplio it's pretty bad for Poplio <laughs> too but you know but uh <laughs> yeah that's uh. Not what not what I was trying to talk about at that point anyway, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, IVs very important to the run uh, for Poplio too. Uh, and nature has give the give us a ten percent boost to one stat and, a te and minus ten percent to another stat. Um, you said we were naive, right? So that's yes. plus speed minus special defense. That's right. And the decent amount of those pluses and minuses are like pretty important. Like you obviously would never take minus special attack because it just it hinders your special attack stat way too much. And then minus speed is quite bad. You can take it sometimes if you have a good enough IV. But um, so yeah, not only are you resetting for the IVs, you're definitely resetting for a good enough nature as well. Yeah, from memory, when rooting this game a while ago, like I think I think in theory plus speed is the ideal nature yes. for Poplio if you have a plus speed and like near 26. max yep. yeah near max IV if it just lets you do a, uh, it just lets you do some strats that you can't quite pull off if you don't have that kind of speed yeah yeah otherwise plus special attack is just the winner mm -hmm. especially nowadays with new high experience you can save a lot of time if you have really good special attack Yeah, also having negative defense is also very scary in this game. So you want to avoid that as well. But the good thing is you find out really early if uh, your Poplio isn't really that great. Mm -hmm. as, I mean, relatively, in terms of levels, in terms of time. Now 
now one of the most awkward battles because then um, you technically don't have to win that. Mm -hmm. But you really should. Or enter because the experience is nice and dying here is inconsistent. There's literally only one fight with how you have to win, I think, and it's the last one. Which is like... I thought you had to win this one. I'm pretty sure when I lost, I lost money and had to come back. No, you definitely can lose no. this one, for sure. You... Really? I lost it, yeah, and yeah, had yeah. to somehow get the experience back. <laughs> oh, jeez, alright. Maybe I just gave yeah. up too soon then when I <laughs> lost this fight. It doesn't happen often, <laughs> losing this fight, but it can do. Um, that Pichu can... If it paralyzes you, use Thundershock and then, like... Gives you a whole lot of tail whips. That's how I lost anyway. Uh, it's uh, to be fair, I doubt that happen. I doubt that anyone has lost how one. We just kind of assume that you can lose that. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I don't know. You would have to be trying to lose how to, to lose to that the first how battle. Oh, nice! Got the plus three HP relatively early. Yeah, HP is like pretty nice to have. Um, the more HP you have, generally, like the better torrent setups you have. Um, having low HP means that your your range for torrent, which is uh, Poplio's ability, is, is smaller. And so it can be harder to set up sometimes when you need it to. Yeah, I think the only stat, ironically, on this Poplio that isn't that amazing is Special Attack. Yeah. <laughs> like we said, the bar for Special Attack for Free Marina is like pretty high. Like. Like, if you, even though 18 special attack IV neutral is, like, objectively pretty good, um, there's definitely going to be some ranges that we may miss by not having max neutral or, or plus special attack. Yeah, ideally you have 21 IV or more, but you find out really late, <laughs> so it's not worth resetting, even if you have, like, 18 at this point. And actually, don't find out if, whether you have 18, 19, or 20 until you're fully evolved. That's just great. All I'm hearing is that there might be some meme, meme deaths potential. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, this run is not fully safe. Who would have thought? Which is funny because this, I think this is one of the only speedruns where you only use 100% accurate moves all the time. True. Wait, but did you consider that using Sparkling Aria on uh, Hafu's Dog Trio should be 100% accurate? Yes. Just don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> what if you get Sand Attacked on, uh, on Hala? True. Yeah, and you have a disarming voice. You do have a disarming voice. What if you don't want to use it? Yeah, we're well, just not feeling it. <laughs> so, well, sometimes water guns, water guns better, even even with disarming voice. Yeah, yeah, most of the time, in fact. Except when you're not in Torn. Anyway, we're getting our head out of ourselves. <laughs> <a little bit. laughs> yeah. Um, I guess I'll. I don't know. I guess I'll talk about um. What console I'm on? I'm on the new 3DS. So there's two models of the 3DS that Nintendo put out. One was the new 3DS, and one was the 3DS, which we just call the old 3DS. Um, for Gen 7 specifically, it makes a very big difference in terms of um, how fast you're going to beat the game. Um, new 3DS, over the course of the run, saves about 10 minutes, which is, like, <laughs> ridiculous. And so, as a result, we just can't put them on the same leaderboards. People, like, people have to compete against their own console, which is kind of annoying, but... Yeah, it is, it is noticeable when you're playing the game on old 3DS. Uh, there's just a lot more lag in certain fights. Uh, trans loading transitions take longer. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty obvious when you're playing. Uh, you definitely. I mean, you can still play. It. You can still play it just fine. This game still runs fine, except in uh, one section, yeah. where, which, we'll, which we which we will talk about when we get there, uh, much for, much later in. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game's well designed. Yeah, you definitely feel it in like like double battles when you're passing by certain trainers in old 3ds. You definitely get a lot more lag than you would for new 3ds. You just kind of feel it like everywhere. Yeah, when you're used to the faster one, it's infuriating. 
<laughs> more. But hey, we can finally almost go to the Pokemon Center now. <laughs> I was like, I was so confused when I first played this game. I was like, there's a Pokemon Center right here. Like, why are they barring me access to it? Like, it's a Pokemon Center. And then, uh, I don't know. Like, I guess it's like all just technically like a, a tutorial section. And you actually like start playing the game when you get to the... I guess when you get past the trainer school, because that, technically that's a tutorial too. Even though some of the fights are definitely not trivial. Yeah, <laughs> it has, the last two ones aren't free. But hey, now we got our Rotom decks. Everyone's loved feature of this game. Yeah, everyone loves uh, the thing that tells them where to go at all times. Like, everyone loved that part of this game. I like how the Rotom decks is name dropped in this commentary before anybody says mentions Lily's, Lily's name. <laughs> <laughs> So true. Yeah, she has a bag there. I think there's a, a Pokemon inside or something. I don't know. That's all I know. Oh yeah, we mentioned her bag, but not her. We mentioned Nebby in the bag, but we didn't <laughs> mention Lily. Um, yeah, this, 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 this uh, going through this grass, this, um, we are playing at nighttime and if we come across that, um, yeah, the, this this is a disadvantage playing at night because a lo you get a Lolan Rasta at nighttime, and they're faster than the young goose you come across at daytime. So uh, we we were able to run though, so you know we we got away with it there. Um, if if but yeah, that's 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 the downside. If if you, if you come across faster Pokemon, you have a lower chance of being able to flee from stuff. Wingle's pretty fast too, so. Uh, Coming across all the, there are slowpoke here, you know. Uh, we'd be like to run into those instead, so we can just run. But uh, nope, we're just gonna uh, get, <laughs> just gonna get outsped by Wingle instead. Yeah, level seven is also the worst level you can encounter here, and both were level seven. Also, a nice little trick here is um, we have to use the poke. What, what is it called? Pokemon refresh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so there's two tricks that Bob did here no. already. Is um, <laughs> Oh god, I don't know how bad Oh, you made a map. So, you have to use... Ideally, you use it after the grass, because um, Pop, you will eat beans fast in the morning... Uh, um, Pokemon it encounters. Um, and you also don't want to access this Pokemon Refresh after entering the Pokemon Center, because then Pokemon Refresh lands on page 2 of your options. Of your menu, and that is slow. Oh, so the nice little setting the <laughs> cursor to the back. <laughs> because if you, if you get... Do... Sorry, no, keep going. Yeah, if you don't do that, your cursor is where Pokemon Refresh was before, and now, after leaving the Pokemon Center, your cursor will be on... Um, what is it called? That's the Plaza. Plaza. Yeah. And that cutscene takes one over one and a half minutes, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> That is like the saddest way to have uh, a Gen 7 run die. <laughs> yeah, in in uh, in Ultra Moon, you have to go in Festival Plaza uh, at some point. So, you know, be, be thankful we're skipping that cutscene in, in this game. Yeah, and it's longer in Ultra Moon. <laughs> <laughs> like two minutes. Alright, already got our extra rare candy. Nice. Uh, sometimes you do some shopping already in that Pokemon Center, specifically when you have bad special defense. Uh, because you try to set up Torrent with a poison and you need an antidote after that specific battle that can poison you in that case. Mm -hmm. But good special defense makes this unnecessary. I mean, I totally didn't yeah. need to put the cursor on bag because I'm probably going to be saving before I, if that ever makes a difference. <laughs> Still better than hitting best of a plaza. That's fair. Yeah, Torrent's the ability that Poplio has, and uh, it boosts the power of your water moves by 50% when you're at one third of your max HP or lower, and we will make extensive use of that throughout the run. Yeah. Um, but he Even if the run doesn't like you doing that because it heals you all the time. So true. 
Yeah, but, but unlike in future games, we uh, in a lot, unlike in a lot of future games, uh, if, I feel like you, you do actually use Torrent quite a bit more in this game because you do take quite a lot of damage from a lot of these fights. Yeah, um, the teacher Emily um, of this school has a Magnemite, which obviously like and it has an electric type move, and its special attack is quite good for a, a Pokemon you find this early, so it can do quite a bit of damage. The Poplio, so definitely want to be a little bit careful with that. Also, some of you might have already noticed, but um, the HP bar in this game is very weird. You, the HP bar always takes the same amount of time to uh, deplete your HP. So if you lose all your health. It takes the same time as if you lost one HP. Mm -hmm. So getting hit in this game is painfully slow. So that is why Poppyu being fast and outspeeding just the most random things can help a lot to save uh, a lot of time. Yeah. It's very jarring yeah, on Ultra Moon because it does not work like that. If it does one damage, then it will kill it immediately. Wow, that's crazy. Ooh, nice. Good crit. Oh. Um, so yeah, like the HP bars in Ultra Moon end up being a lot faster for that reason, because they don't work the same way. But yeah, that, that Bond's lead doesn't usually die. It's a pretty tough range. And lucky for us, it doesn't have sturdy, so that's really nice. Imagine if it had sturdy and went for play. <laughs> I don't think it would even be that scary. And it's base 200, ho. <laughs> it probably yeah, does something. Yeah, uh, uh, you'd probably be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'd probably start with Zowie Boys in that case. Well, that's ideal. Ooh, nice. One is speed tie. I think it is a speed tie. I didn't check. Uh, what? 15 speed? Yeah, speed tie. Nice, that makes you not heal for this next battle, mm -hmm. which is uh, the first one that is kind of scary. It can, be a it can be a lot scarier when you're at more significantly damaged HP. Um, but it also has Poison Touch, this Grimer. So you can get poison at any time, um, which is just amazing. It's so awesome. Um, usually you can just play around it by just healing when you, when you need to, but... Um, Sometimes I can be out of your control. Yeah, it should be fine in this case. Because we're faster than Grimer, it only is going to get two hits on us. So we're perfectly fine. And then we're just going to take the free heal from Lily after this fight, before the last fight in Trainer School. Ah, unlucky. This special attack is not looking too great. Yeah. Now, it's, now, unless we crit the Magnemite, we have to 1 in 16 roll both water guns to 2 hit KO it. So I assume that's going to be your first save. Yes, it will. <laughs> definitely. There's definitely a world where you can die. Obviously, um, Magnemite is Thundershock. Um, Thundershock can paralyze you, so along with, you know, getting crit, you can also get fully paralyzed. Um, in the second poke, uh, Alolan Meowth has bite, and you're always slower than it, so you're always risking getting flinched. Which is yeah. just incredible. And, yeah, if you get paralyzed on Magnemite, it's also really bad, because you can still win, if even if you get fully paralyzed the first time, but it's um, awful because it makes you use almost all your potions. And that is obviously not great. Yeah. Potions are pretty valuable going into the mid to late game for, for torrent setups and whatever, but... Um, you can also be slower than this Magnemite if your speed is bad enough. Um, and that is really not good. It, it's, even, it's even worse if you're speed tied, because then you can just yeah. die, but when you're faster, it's like... much more reasonable. Okay, nice. You outspeed that. Perfect. And now the flinch game starts. Yep, it's it's so fun.
That's a crit. Yeah. Yep, the joy of this fight. We just gotta hit it one more time. We're good. Okay, yeah. cool. Going for Water Gun because in Torrent it does more damage and saves some super effective attacks. Still a thing in the newer generations as well, even if attacks go so fast. I guess we could mention that we didn't nickname Poplio unlike what you do in most other generations. Yeah. Because um Tex advanced at eight characters per frame, making it pretty negligible how much time you lose from the name and you'd probably mm -hmm. not save any time from nicknaming it. Yeah. Gen six was the first to introduce that, and I think after Gen 7, they just like give you the option to skip nicknames altogether, so it becomes even faster to not do that. So yeah, definitely nicknames, one character nicknames are definitely a thing of Pokemon games of the past. Yeah, I kind of had to think when you said, um, when you said most games, because like we're almost to the point where it will be like, you know, because because it, 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 it'll uh, we're we're at like five gens where it was fastest nickname and four gens where it's not it's fastest knock nickname. So we're you know we're, we're at that edge now. Yeah. In the series. Hey, let me be a boomer, okay? <laughs> <laughs> So um, I guess we're coming up onto the spot where a couple things become relevant where we've done before. Um, so we're going to head this Taurus, obviously, but then we're going to go into Haoli City. Um, and there's going to be a cutscene where we have to take a photo using the, uh, the Rotom decks. Um, and this is the spot where it becomes faster to not use L equals A. So I did not set L equals A earlier. Um, and that's because it saves about seven seconds to just press the R button when you get into that cutscene. Instead, you'd have to wait until the Rotom screen clears up and then you have to click the Rotom screen since the R button doesn't work because of L equals A. Okay, the downside being that you want to be holding a button through the text boxes and it's uh, a bit more un it, a bit, it's, it's a bit less comfortable for a few runners if you if you don't set L equals A to be on because you kind of got like mash beat. Hold B and mash A, or vice versa. And it's a little more awkward. Also, this is my favorite cutscene in the game. Just like, just like how people don't care that it's nighttime, and just, and just, 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 and just you know, pretending that the sun's out, <laughs> and relaxing on the beach. I never noticed that. <laughs> Amazing. They're getting tans. Yeah. Let's go. Good old, good old moon bathing. <laughs> But yeah, I, I think the consensus, I'm not sure how it changed in the last like little bit of time, but um, I think the consensus was people generally like to have L equals A more than the seven or whatever seconds benefits them. Because it's a very long run and depending on the way you match, it can really mess with your hands. Having said that, Headbob only has world record in this game by one second. So, you know, <laughs> maybe, that made the, maybe that made the difference in the end. I don't think so. I think both you don't use L equals A. I am, okay. I use it. <laughs> but yeah, it, it 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 it's really not great that it takes like seven seconds. So I had to come up with my own optimization that one part to save it just a little bit of time. You can save a little bit of time because the NPC turns to you, but you can make him turn to you before you press R. So I save like. I don't know, a third of a second. <laughs> <laughs> Only found that recently. And then I still messed it up. Alright, favorite Gen 7 Pokemon from each of you. Let's hear it. Hmm. Um, favorite Gen 7 Pokemon. I really like Tapu Koko, actually. I think it's very cool. Ooh, that's really? a good pick. That's a good pick. Hmm. I actually really like Poplia or like Primarina. I think it's you're really just cool. saying that because you speed run it. That doesn't count. No, I feel you, like it'd be the you, opposite. You just look at it all the time. You're like, yep, it's good. I mean, yeah. Alolan Exeggutor though, that's pretty great. That's my favorite for sure. 
Yeah, mine too. I feel like generally it's like the opposite. I feel like generally like people like speed run with a Pokemon and they just like grow to dislike it. Yeah, like in that in that little scene that came up, you um, it, um Head Bob didn't have to wait for the Rotom Dex uh, scene to go away. If you have L equals A on, uh, you can't. It, it disables you from pressing R in that section, so you have to like wait for the touch screen to come up so, to to to, uh, to 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 trigger that. But uh, but Head Bob can just like his R button is free with L, L equals A. Uh, it's it's weird how to hold L equals A, but just but like stops R from working. But that's just that's just that's just how the game works. So yeah, that, that's that's the that's the source of the time save there. And here, yeah, and also in this, yeah, yeah, good. I was about to say that. And, and here, <laughs> so we're picking the boy, and there's a reason for that. It's not just a preference thing. Uh, if it was a preference thing, I'd be picking the girl for what it's worth. But um, it's just that um, by picking the girl, you get both the lens case and the makeup case, which we didn't get there. We got just the lens case because we picked the boy. Unlucky. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we saved like a little bit of time by by not getting that. And that's like really the only difference between the two genders. All right, and here Head Bob does a small optimization, buys special attacks first, so they are always on top of the bag. Which does actually save a considerable amount of time uh, in, ter in terms of menuing because uh, we use a lot of special attacks. And if you noticed, we bought already 21. Yep. And X items got buffed in this game and all games going forward uh, as they give you a plus two boost instead of just a plus one boost. But they also cost much more money. So right. Which but is, you also yeah, I mean, get a lot of money early. <laughs> yeah, you're like uh, really rich in this game compared to other games for some reason, which is uh, uh, good for us. But, um, but yeah, it definitely allows us to... Because these, yeah, these new X items are completely broken. Yeah, we'd X items the previous game just boosting by one stage. We're already really good. Um, but I mean, this game, this game did make a lot of the battles harder by just maxing out on the EVs of a lot of the trainers, so... Mm -hmm. Um. So, so, so the, so the, the, the plus two. I, I'm not. I haven't really theorized what the run would be like if X items were plus one. It would probably just be a whole lot more painful. Setup. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Just a lot slower. Whatever. But... You might use Z moves more. Uh, I guess as well. Mm, yeah, that's probably true too. When we get to that. Yeah, ideally you don't want to using Z moves because they're slow and they lose a lot of time. But we'll, we'll talk more yeah. about that later. And the next battle is actually one of those that Garp mentioned with maxed out EVs. <laughs> yep. With uh, Captain Elima somehow having grinded the EVs on uh, Osu's Pokemon on Yangus and Smeargle. <laughs> He's committed, okay? Even if it. Yeah, even EVs are level basically. 9 and 10. Another way to buff your st uh, to like influence your stats. Um, IVs just like inherent to your Pokemon. EVs, which stand for effort values, you get you get you get you get incrementally throughout the run by just the po you just like every Pokemon you battle gives you a certain number of EVs. And uh, at level 100, four EVs amounts to one stat point. But I mean, even even at lower levels, uh, EVs make no. make difference. Especially especially when you're just especially when you're um maxing out on them like uh like a lever is so yeah he he gets a pretty massive buff to the to the to to some relevant stats on on his pokemon uh, like his uh his first pokemon young goose has more defenses and his second pokemon smeargle has like maxed out offensive evs so gotta deal with that and also ivs in fact the young goose has 31 iv and hp defense and special defense <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, the game started going crazy like right off the bat. Yeah. It's not something that happens only on in the last hour of the game, it's just directly. <laughs> yeah, this fight basically you, the, the game the name of the game is just like get set in the torrent, which pretty much always happens with the um the Poplios we go for. You'll always get outsped and leafaged by the smear goal, but you will die to a crit, which is why I saved. But we did not get crit here. And that's a range oh, too. 
Um, but it's not a big deal if you miss that range because he'll just heal to not full HP and then you can just kill it for free the next turn. So, no big deal there. Um, and then also if you have less than two IV, yeah, less than three IV neutral speed, which is very bad, obviously. Um, you will get speed tied or outsped by the young goose and that can completely mess up the torrent setup you're going for. Um, if your defense is like not that great, then you will likely just die if you get hit an extra time. Yeah, that's why you usually just reset that. Yeah. Because it's also just time loss everywhere else anyway. Mm -hmm. You gotta go for the glitch here, Heppel. Yeah, my favorite glitch. <laughs> um, and we'll see what happens. There is actually uh, a silver lining if I do uh, hit this trainer. Um, we're going to be performing a trainer skip in a second um, to skip a fight and not waste time. Um, hopefully I get it. It's not necessarily free, um, but um, it's very it's very good to get. Like, you're obviously resetting for that in world record attempts. Also, if you talk to that Tauros at a certain position, you can, you can turn off collision for this whole area. It's a... Uh... You like you, you like snap to the, the tile you're supposed to be on, and then it turns off collision. But it doesn't actually do anything for because like you can't get to any new areas or anything. You can like get to the mall early, and that's about it. But it doesn't really help you. But it's it's uh it's a it's a cool little part of the game where you can just turn collision off, and uh, it's I don't think it's particularly well known. Probably because no. it doesn't really do probably because it doesn't really do much. It would be nice if going to the mall could actually give you auto pledge. Yeah, yeah. You, you need you need high friendship for that though, so it doesn't really work out like that. Yeah, sadly. <laughs> Gen eight fixed that. I'm trying to imagine they didn't even do that for Gen five, where pledge moves were not even good. <laughs> oh, they weren't. They were like yeah, fifty they were power. Like fifty power yeah. back in Gen five. Oh, I did not know that. Why would you even? I mean, there's like those little like niche pledge uh, combo move things that I feel like nobody uses. But um, I mean, besides that, it's just a, a high power move that we don't get access to in this game. game wouldn't even be that different um, because you get Scald really early in this anyway. This is true, yeah. Same power. I guess uh, this part of the game would be even better. It may change stuff for Ultra Moon if that were to happen. Because you don't get Scald in Ultra Moon. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let, let me go, let me go. Don't think... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't think it would... I don't think it would be enough to get you to use Pop Day for the whole game in that one. <laughs> and here Headbob got magically healed, the game didn't even announce it, which is kind of unfortunate because uh, Torn would be quite nice for this Rousey. Yep, definitely. And instead we have to waste the next special attack on it. Garf, I hope you're not too upset about this repel. I, I actually felt physically sick when he used that Look at this. Look at the tiny amount of grass he goes through. Like, okay, you can, okay, that's not fair. You went through more grass than it was necessary. You made it look worse than it was. <laughs> Faster. I bet you're going to use more repels than necessary when going through Melly Melly Meadow too, aren't you? Guys, yeah, hey. your silence says it all, Hedgehog. <laughs> your silence says it all. It turns out it's faster to, to do this anyway. I mean, not I this one. I don't, no, I not don't, this I, one. I don't believe you. <laughs> it, it, is, it is kind of sad that it ended up being faster to, to use one more repel. But I agree that that movement in Melo 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 is quite satisfying when you get it. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. When we get to that point, I'm gonna have to have you explain why. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You mean, you mean like the tight repel cycle? 
Yeah. No, I, I go for that. Oh, he goes for it. Yeah. Beautiful. It's not that hard. Why? All right, well, well, we'll we'll have a fight about it when we get to it, I guess. <laughs> Wait, now I have to... Wait, did you... Wait, how many repels do you normally buy? You bought one less, right? That's why. 20, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, so one of the biggest differences between Sun and Moon... Um, it's not the biggest difference, but um, this, this trial is entirely different in Sun. Um, in Sun, it's entirely based around the, um, the Gumshoes line, the Young Goose Gumshoes line. But here it's based around the Alolan Rattata line, so it's basically just entirely Alolan Rattata and the Alolan Raticate, which is slightly better for Poplio in that we have Disarming Voice to hit super effectively. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. They're definitely you also get more speed EVs from from this. This right? is true. This is true. Young Geese would give you attack EVs instead. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think you get ten more speed EVs from this, which is not <laughs> negligible at all. No. Also, another difference is uh, with a uh, Ultra Moon for the speed run. Uh, this is where both routes bifurcate a lot because at this part you start wasting a little bit of time in Ultra Moon to find a Spiro that you can trade for a massively overpowered Brave Halucha with 31 IV attack and the unburdened ability in Ultra Moon. Which in this game is just a Machop with the same stats, I believe. Yeah, brave, yeah, it also no has guard. brave thirty-one, yeah. thirty-one IV, but, uh, but it's 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 not as good as all nature by a long shot. I mean, brave yeah. is like not a bad nature, but Machop already has like miserable speed, so having minus speed guaranteed, it's just like it's it's just so bad for it. I mean, I kind <laughs> of assume that that's why they gave. It, it brave in this game because like, ah, oh, speed's not too important, and they just didn't change it when they changed matchup to Hall Lucha in Ultra. That's probably true. Just like they didn't change, uh, ooh, good or a very. Wow, you did take <laughs> Oh, wow, unbelievable. It's almost like he's trying to go fast or something. <laughs> I don't know, I, I picked that up for Totem Rat. I think I made a mistake. No, we're fine, we're fine. But yeah, on Hala they also didn't change um, the the EV spread on some of the Pokemon. And uh, in uh, Ultra Moon, the Machop got... Uh, the the Mankey got replaced by Machop and the EVs don't make any sense in Ultra Moon because they only change your Pokemon but not the IVs and EVs. So there's a Machop with its best move, being Revenge with a maxed out speed. Yeah, Machop is like such a big downgrade for the Mankey that can like guarantee critical hits on turn 2. Makes a lot of Pokemon difficult to get through because you just can't set up X defense. And most I love this battle intro, he just like <laughs> walks towards you and crosses his arms. Team Skull's so goofy, I love him. Yeah, and if you pick the second option in that dialogue, <laughs> it's also fun. <laughs> yeah, they just like swap places, like... <laughs> like, wait... <laughs> I always wanted to talk to you, I don't know, it was, uh, I can't remember exactly how it goes, but it's... They do some goofy things with Team Skull. That's, 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 it's, it's, I think, I think uh, the developers do goofy stuff best when it comes to cutscenes and stuff. Top three best soundtracks in Pokemon, you say? Hmm, I don't know. This, I haven't thought about my top three. I feel like most of them are in this game. Sun and Moon has like great music. This this game has a lot of good tracks. It might be in my top three games in terms of soundtrack. I don't know. I really like the Guzma music. theme. I really like Lusamine. Yeah. The Kahuna, the Elite Four. Especially the battle themes. 
they introduced some even even more bangers in Ultra as well. Like the Ultra and the Cosmo battle type, the battle theme is really good. Uh, well. Yeah, definitely. And like the Ultra Recon Squad battle theme is and Mantine Surf, Mantine Surf is so good. Yeah, there, there's a lot of great great tracks in this gen. Please don't get super fang too much. I will get two tail ups in a row. Alright. Okay. <laughs> that's like tail oh, if you think about it. That that's that's how you know this run isn't scripted. No. Lame. That's okay. That's okay. Nineteen out of thirty nine, perfect. Cool. Yeah, you got max value out of your potion. So we're getting, oh, yeah, so we're getting Aqua, Jet. Aqua Jet, which is like a very good move for Primarina, considering it's not a very fast Pokemon. Um, so even though it's like a, a special attacker, um, having priority to like finish things is like really important. So we're going to keep it for quite a while before we replace it. Interestingly, the second we replace it is also the last time we use it. Usually. Oh, please save. Oh, oh no. He'll be, he'll be fine. I'll be the fine. game will reward him. The game will reward him for his bravery. I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, uh, getting some ugly flashbacks here. Yeah, like you can, bad things can happen here, but like, you can use an X defend if you're really in trouble, but I don't think that will ever happen. Headbutt trying his hardest to curse himself here. I've already cursed myself a couple times and it didn't it didn't come to fruition, so I have faith. <laughs> stop just stop talking, <laughs> you're making it worse. Uh, we love Pale Whip turn one. Also fun fact you can actually be faster than this eradicate with like extremely high speed, but then it's ghost scary face. So yeah, the timing voice hits both targets here, so we can just get rid of the red pata early on. Which is really nice. Nice, you also outsped the Rattata. Yeah, this is the the different kind of challenge that trials offer. They get uh, your uh, your your opponents get a stat boost and they call for help. So uh, this one's not too bad because you have that you have you have that advantage against them. But uh, some uh, there there are some much trickier totem fights later on. Wait, this time's like not bad. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty solid for a no reset. Uh, so we'll when, when I get freedom of my game again, we'll we'll take a, a break for a uh, you know. Sounds good. Whatever. Just count it down whenever it's time. We'll do. So first trial down. What five, six more to go? And then I love these. I love these dances they do for the Z <laughs> mm. I Have to wait forever so, for the best dance, though. Yeah, while we're, we're yeah while, while we're having a break, you, know, you, you we can we we can think about what our favorite Z move dance. So is. true. <laughs> I do not need to think about this. <laughs> All right, Twinkle three, is clearly the two, best. one. Pause. Awesome. All right. As Head Bob said, we're going to go to a quick break. Uh, we're going to do a bunch of breaks during this run because it is over five hours long. Uh, just give everyone a chance to get some water stretch. Give the runner a chance and the commentators a chance to take a little break as well. So we're going to go to a break for a few minutes. Before we do that, I want to make a couple announcements. First of all, if you're not already following Head Bob Wartab and Garfield Lightning on Twitch.tv, uh, definitely go ahead and do so. You can actually follow Headbot really easily just by hovering over his name under the title if you're watching live on Twitch. If you're not watching live on Twitch, uh, that info should be below the, the YouTube video in the description as well. And then for other announcements, um, registration is live for Awesome Games Done Quick 2024. If you'd like to attend the event in person from January 14th through the 21st, go to gamesdonequick.com for more info, including attendee registration and hotel booking. Be sure to check out the schedule at gamesonquick.com schedule and let us know what you're looking forward to the most. 
And then, um, yeah, also Games on Quick is hiring. If you're a business developer or have experience in recruiting sponsorships and would like to work for GDQ, apply at gamesdonequick.com slash jobs. And we'll be back in just a few minutes. Hello and welcome back everybody to the GDQ Hotfix. I am your host, Etchy. We are in the middle of a Pokemon Moon any percent speedrun done by Headbob here. And uh, we just finished the first trial and I think we're just going to go right back into it. So Headbob, take it away. All right, let's do it. So let's let's climb back into it in three, two, one, go. So yeah, we're just going to head out after this and we're going to go... To the we, we didn't get to see it before, but the uh, the next route was blocked before the um before we finish this trial. But we're gonna uh, have a funny little tutorial because we're apparently not done with those yet. Um, and then <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna move on past the gate and finish up this island. Hopefully, pretty soon. So yeah, we just so by beating trials, we beat our first trial just now. Um, you get a, a Z crystal for each one, um, so we just got the Normalium Z, so Kapui is about to teach us um, how we can use that in battle, because they are pretty powerful. Yeah, you can only use Z moves once per battle, but they are much stronger than your regular moves. Uh, if you use them with a status move, they can do like some other effects as well, like they can boost your stats or heal you, stuff like that. But uh, we'll, we'll only be using them on damaging moves this run, so we just use them when we really need that extra that extra power. Yeah. Which, um, I mean, so the, the Z move that we're going to use is like pretty much exactly twice as powerful as um, the move we're going to get, which is Scald. So it basically takes as much as two turns. So really the only time we're gonna be using it is when like, um, because a Z move is slower than two turns. So the only time we're really gonna be using it is when it makes the fight like safer. Or if it saves more than two turns for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, it's more of like a, like a safety thing in a lot of cases. Which and Z moves are also 100% accurate, even if you get stat drops. This is true, yes. Oh, which doesn't matter in this anymore, I think. Yeah, I don't think that comes up. It, it, against Magmar it could, but since high experience, it's not really necessary anymore. True. We should Z Sparkling Aria Hapu's Dog Trio. What the heck? You said you were doing the. Okay, well, I guess you, I guess your definition of type move is a bit different from the, <laughs> than the old. I have a feeling I didn't understand what you meant. No, for the. Okay, here yeah, you don't do that. Yeah. The type movement is you wait for the shadow and then you have to. Like, your repel basically expires two steps after the grass here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So so, <laughs> so I'm 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 waiting for water as explanation as to why it's faster to not to not do that and use an additional repel. Because the waiting is slower than going all the way around. And when then you use the other menu to re-repel and then put up an orange berry. It's a it's a, it was Yeah, the, the, that's that's what you that's 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 what that's what I did anyway. Yeah, I I when when I equipped the orange berry I put another repel up then. See everyone look at this historical context we're getting. I would have had no idea. How insightful. Yeah, and but it but but like if you if you do mess up that movement even a little bit, the the uh the encounter rate in the meadow is obscenely high. So like even if it runs out right at the end, you are likely to just get another encounter trying to get out of there and uh that 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 does lose you time. Yeah, so it's it would have been better if you just mess that up, you if you was to mess that up it was better to just Reapply or repel anyway, and then not use one later. <laughs> That's how bad that encounter rate is here. All right, so this is the tipping yeah. point. So this is a, a new route development. Um, hopefully we don't die, but um, 
The old rat would have you die intentionally. Come on, crit. No, Pikachu, why didn't you crit? Unbelievable. I could go for the 50-50 Aqua Jet range. But let's not do that. Oh. How much is Smash to here? I don't know. Probably more than six. Well, unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you've been fine. Okay. Oh, and now p hard punished. Wow. Yeah, but yeah, you can. Yeah, we, you, you can. You can lose this fight, and uh, in fact, that's that's uh, that that's what you. That's I, I think what the way was. I think what I explained that it is optimally faster to lose, but it's but you have some nice benefits from winning this fight. Um, but I don't know exactly what these benefits are. So, yeah, uh, um, uh, we'll explain a bit, a bit more about it. it when the benefits come up. But basically, like. It's always been annoying, because me and Worth have, have been running this game for a little while. Um, to, to, to consistently die to that fight, it, it, like Pikachu has random AI, so it will sometimes just like choose to wait as long as possible before deciding to kill you. So, I know in a worst case, you can like even lose time to what I just did by, by attempting to die. Hey, I'm pretty sure this was a big, a, a good example of when this goal is much slower than than what you want. Yeah, lick but, paralysis is is unfortunate for sure. Yeah, I must say I have had no great experience with either the high or low experience. I always lose time, <laughs> so I I guess it's just on average a little bit better because you finish more runs with high experience because you deal with less ranges. Yeah. Like it has benefits for both high special attack and for not so great special attack. Mm -hmm. For for this this battle, for example, is much better with um, lower special attack. Yep. Because you level up uh, for uh, the second Pokemon, which is Makuita, that has ex uh, extreme bulk in special defense. I think Water Gun would be a range on Makuhita if I didn't do high experience here. Yeah. But instead, it's it guaranteed. Okay. Yeah, I don't have the notes, so maybe I should, but it's a, uh, yeah, it would be like, I think 75% to die with uh, without the extra experience. And here we will see why the Auron Berry is so good. Well, what's your, that's what's not your, great. What's your, special, what's your special attack IV? 22. Okay, so yeah, that's, that, that, that's 14 and 16 to KO the Makuhita. If you didn't get the extra experience. Oh, 22 is perfect, actually. Tw you want 21 at the very least. Okay, and now thanks to the Oran Berry, we do not have to heal here. And we are in Torrent anyway. Yes, yeah, so we can take advantage of uh, the turn where it uses Fake Out, which is a guaranteed flinch move, but it can only be used on the first turn, but we can just. Use that to set up a, another X special attack, and yeah, fight plays out nicely. Fun fact, my PB is the first time I've ever seen that not use Fake Out Turn 1 despite not being able to kill with anything else. Went Sand Attack. Yep. Yeah, sometimes this game likes to troll you a bit. And now Poppy becomes Brion. Pretty late evil for first stage, level 17 only. Yeah, I'm sure most people miss this, but um, so we leveled the 17 obviously after Mankey and we got the better range because of it. But also because of that, we so probably evolves up with 17, like we said, it just evolved. Um, but in a feature in Gen 6 Plus, if you get experience after you reach an evolution level, you get a multiplier added to, added to it. So we get extra experience on both the Makavita and the Cabrawler because we're level 17 and hadn't evolved yet. So it like builds on the extra experience that we already have, and so it, it, you know it gets even better. Yeah, it's a 20% experience boost for a new evolution. And I believe that does matter in this case.
yeah, so um, there's quite a bit benefits in the next, like, I want to say half hour that arise when you um, do the experience like this. Um, the biggest of them is um, the Fire Trials Totem Salazzle, which never ever dies on the standard route unless you crit, in which case you're down in experience and you gotta make it up. Um, but in this route, the intent is to kill it in one turn because it's a, a reasonable range to do so. And that, and killing it in one turn saves like 30 seconds, um, which is really, really big. But then there's also like, you know, ranges here and there that get helped a lot by it. So it's really nice. It's, it's, it's pretty consistently fast, which is like the main appeal. So what I, I thought know. they were talking about earlier with the repels is what's happening right next. Next. Um, I'm going to be dropping repels pretty shortly after this, and it's going to be pretty tight with um, me leaving the last grass patch. Um, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. It's like even much, 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 much tighter. Like literally one or two steps. That's why I never like doing that. I'm so surprised when you're like, but worth that. Yeah. Worth doesn't do that actually. Oh, okay. But it, but it's it, it's so swag when you just like take one step out and like your pal drops. Like, yeah, I'm a god of movement. What of it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, whenever it worked, I was happy, but <laughs> it was just so frightening. <laughs> I remember one day I, I I did a marathon run and Garp was watching and I was so proud because I I did it. I was so scared. <laughs> What happened since then, Wolf's What happened? <laughs> now since you're then, for this cowardice, unbelievable. Since then, we don't need that many. We found out that we don't need as many repels for later in the game. So, how encounter mechanics work in this? We, for example, found out that it is impossible to get encounters in water unless you did more than 100 steps in the area. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> no no wonder you never got an encounter when going for that candy in uh Brooklyn Hill. Yeah, so you could you can even like there's a rare candy in Mele Mele C in this part of the game and literally you do not need to repel to get that candy, even if it's like so many steps in the water. Oh okay. Yeah. Still takes forty five seconds to get there, but it's a nice a nice uh, backup candy if you need to use one for teacher Emily. I don't know if either of you know where the black glasses are, um, but I no. I got it. No in, um, I was I, I wrote it lit in for this game, and it's on an island to the right of the beach of Hapu or whatever the Hanu Grand Resort. That's what it's called. Um, what the heck, dude? They just give you Mystic Water for free in this game, but <laughs> black glasses, you just gotta go out of your way. Okay? And it's a lot of water tiles. <laughs> but you still just don't get any encounters because of, of the immunity. Yeah, I did a hell, hell of a lot of uh, research on uh, how encounters work, and I busted some myth. So, for example, it is it doesn't matter whether you run or walk in grass, it's the same encounter rate. I think the running thing is only a factor in Heart Gold Soul Silver. Yeah, I think but literally. I think people, yeah. But, I, but but I think the, but I think like because it's true for that game, it's kind of been the uh, it is it's it's kind of like spread to like oh if it works if it's in, if it's the case in Heart Gold Soul Silver, it must be the case for this game too. But no, literally only in Heart Gold Soul Silver does running increase the encounter rate. Right? Incredible. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then there's other factors like. When you're on tours, for example, the encounter rate is halved. Whether you run or a charge. And on Sharpedo, the encounter rate is actually dropped to 15%. Oh, okay. That's and easy. Lapras to 20%. So on water, even if you have encounter rate enabled, it's you could technically not repel and it's unlikely to get an encounter. That's why sometimes you don't repel on the Sharpedo section and you don't get an encounter. Then you're very surprised that you didn't repel once you reach your class. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not unreasonable to hope for no encounter on Sharpedo. It's 
So we're meeting. This island's where the pace picks up a little bit. You, the, the, the first island's kind of like a bit of tutorial island. There's a bit. There's. The, I, there's a quite quite a nice gameplay to cutscene ratio on this island. I think I, I, I always quite liked doing this section when I was doing runs. Yeah. Yeah. The second and third island are the most balanced, I believe, and the gameplay on this is also much more interesting because you start taking some like you have less risks, except for one well, battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you have some nice strategies, some nice door and setups. Yeah, they just stuck and three different trials on the same island. It's like half of the ones in all the game. Yeah, and they correspond to the starter types. Yeah. Also, this charge right here lags so much on uh, old 3DS for some reason. Not but, on uh, mine. <laughs> it did on mine, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that was unfair. But then it lags. Yeah, I was just cursed. Other yeah, maybe it, then it lags for in places, in other places from you where it didn't for you. It's uh, quite interesting how those consoles work. This game is wonderful. You also sense. have like... Garf also has a section where he doesn't get music if he does a run scene. Yeah, oh, yeah you're telling yeah, me about like that. that. Was that. Was that just on my 3DS as well? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I never actually managed to finish this. No. Oh yeah, no, it's because now we have like this shorter run, so I never actually ended up doing it single segment on old 3DS. I never actually found out if it's a thing. Okay, so here we have another fight that is different on Sun. Uh, so we're going to fight Cena and Dexio, one of them, depending on which version of the game we're playing. Um, they show up a lot in X and Y, um, but they don't actually like do a whole lot. They just kind of show up a bunch. This is the first time we're actually gonna get to battle them. So in Moon, we're gonna fight um, Cena. Yep, yep. Um, <laughs> you actually forgot. <laughs> Goodness me. Uh, um, but yeah, they 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 just like they they just like show up and leave in X Y. But in this game, they actually do stuff. Um, and yeah, she has a um, a Deli Bird and a Glaceon instead of a uh, Smoochum and an Espeon. Slowpoke. Slowpoke. Close. Slowpoke. Slowpoke and a... an Espeon, right? Yeah. yeah. The Slowpoke has confusion, and it also takes uh, one, more, one extra hit to kill, so it's a slower battle and riskier. I've been healed. This is, a, this is another fight you can lose, I've been healed but, again. Uh, but, you, but you get a lot of experience from this fight, so you might as well just win. Yeah, and with level 18, it's actually reasonable to hope for one shot with a crit or torrent here, but yep. the heal makes that impossible. Hey, I could crit. Yeah, yeah. It's not out of it yet. Close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can just tell by how slowly the uh, HP bar scrolls whether you've crit or not. I remember, like, when I didn't when when I did run an ESA of like um, when I, when I when I was like when I was like um, in the Elite Four in X and Y, I like. I like I, I like said nice. It didn't crit before it even before it even the HP bar had finished scrolling because you can just tell in these games sometimes <laughs> just by just by how fast the HP bar goes down. It's less obvious next Y than this game, I think. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I have a specific memory about like an aura. So you can always tell when the trap inch is going to get the range. Like it's just like the, the bar just goes shooting to the left when you get it. <laughs> <laughs> also here, head Bob did a few extra steps. On uh, for getting that red gain, so I assume you will not get the fast cook movement. No. Rip. I also don't do that anyway, so like. Oh, that is sad. Like you can actually um, not do this big turn you ha if you get the repel cycle perfectly, which saves a few seconds. Wow, world record speedrunner admits to doing nothing fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a uh, that was some movement tech I was not aware of until recently, and I only recently found a consistent setup for it. This move, this game actually has some very tricky movement that is not tricky because it's very technical, but because it's based on very tight cycles mm -hmm. uh, that. Uh, NPCs have 
and um, when you get it, it's really satisfying. Especially if you miss the cycles, it can be very slow. A uh, quick attack here would be yes. nice. Yes, oh, that's nice. Nice. Yeah, because this pick, Pikachu is not guaranteed out of Torrent. Because it's also weird to be seeing you win this fight as well. Crazy stuff. Yeah, this one takes... And here you want to be faster than Toro Cat, that's why you use the XP, because this Toro Cat cannot necessarily kill you, but it has a Z-Crystal on Scratch. And um, I believe it's 70% to go for a Z-Move when it's a non-super effective one, when it decides to go for Scratch. Actually, forgot the number, but it was pretty high. I mean, I basically only use it when I'm not using it on Gladion, which is like pretty often, to be fair. But um. oh, you oh, I th I think I never use it on Gladion <laughs> ever. You outspeed without next speed with 14 neutral, four plus. I guess it's like not technically like required, anyways. But yeah, I feel like it Thanks. does 14 neutral. That's like. Wow, you needed like because you, you needed like almost perfect speed to have to be glad you. Yeah, and you can skip an X special with us too. Dang. Yeah, it takes way less turns. And the torrent setup for wishy washy also works out better quite often. I'm I'm less mad now than I was before about you losing bat uh, winning battles instead of losing them. <laughs> it it's pretty close. Top end obviously you lose a bit of time, but it's uh, pretty pretty nice. Also, you're not scared about critting the <laughs> the Salazzle anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other day I actually didn't crit and still died with low experience. Yeah, it's like a 1 in 16 range with max special, which is yeah. pretty rare. This is, yeah, here's, here's our introduction to Gladion, who looks like he's doing his own edgy Z-move dance right at the start. Yeah, he's very emo. <laughs> his, team, his team's very cool. It yeah, also another cool. banger. We didn't even mention it. Yeah, with the high experience, you're significantly higher level here. I think you, you'd only be level 18 otherwise. Yeah, that's right. So we've like already done all the level ups that we would be doing on low experience, so some of the time loss of the past few splits is kind of like placebo, because you, you make it all back up in these next couple of splits. Ah, this is not... Oh, this dies to crit... Ah, crit yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this is pretty good HP to be at for the next trial. I think three, right? Which is really nice. I don't know, you you have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I minus the death. Um, hmm. With potion at 35. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so thrown off by this experience route. I didn't even I didn't even talk about Encore when we learned it. Because <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, you don't even do it after this fight. What's going on here? But uh, yeah, no, Encore learned. might seem like a bit of a strange teach for uh, for a speed run. But uh, but honestly, you only really use three attacking moves anyway, and Encore is really nice utility in a lot of battles. It's uh, I'm just gonna heal the ball. It's ve it's very it's very cool how it how it ends up actually helping you out in a lot of fights. Uh, I remember I um, I saw, I think I saw Itotaki use it a little bit in some of his runs, but like, I wanted to put, I wanted to put it, put it, put it in more because it was a cool idea. And yeah, it, it works in a lot of fights and hopefully we'll see it used to its full potential in this run. Yeah, I, I would hope so too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, a, it's well, really nice. It to, to its full, full potential would be like, would require some luck to go your way later on, but yeah, uh, that's fair. That, that, um, yeah, we can. We can always. I can, I can always hope. Yeah, it's also a nice move to force damage onto you uh, for torrent. 
or to force damage onto you if you want to die, or to stall a turn because it's faster than using like a revive that is useless or something. So it's it's just really nice to have, even when you don't need it as a utility move. Yeah, like in this like tech here, you can't you can just press A to interact with the water and and get on Lapras, but it actually ends up being faster to register it to your ride pager and then getting on at various points when you enter the water. Yeah, so I'm probably going to, considering I'm going to be at a bit higher HP just because I want to play a bit safer, um, we will likely be making use of Encore on the Wishy Washy fight coming up. Yes. Wait, you gained an extra HP point, which means that you are probably on the higher IV if you still don't know your HP IV. Because uh, Type Null gives you 2 HP EVs. So you have 16, not 15. And you can run from these wishy-washy, by the way, because this is not technically part of the trial. Yep, you have to kill them in Ultra Moon. Yeah, in Ultra Moon, the trial gate is pushed back to the start of Brooklyn Hill, but uh, in this game, it's kind of like a surprise. You enter the trial gate without noticing right at the end. Yeah, and this is uh, also... This wishy-washy can actually, with lower experience, be faster than you. <laughs> Which is a very sad occurrence. Because <laughs> when you fail to run from it, it will always successfully call for help on a oh second wishy-washy. Oh my wishy. gosh. It's scripted to do that, and... Um, and running from a... From a uh, SOS battle is very slow because it makes the game lag. All right, so we got Skull. Skull is very good at this point in the game, so definitely gonna be yeah, a good use get, of that. Yeah, you get you just casually get an 80 power move that's uh, the same type that's, that you get same type attack bonus on before the second trial. It's like just just the things they give they 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 give you for the water starter in this game. I mean, they, 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 they knew. They, they, that, that, that was just that was really just their favorite starter. Huh? Like the, <laughs> <laughs> that was, that, that's just so much that they that they do to help you out. I'm so good at this game, Poplio. Did you reapply the repel accidentally? Yeah. Be so fun. yeah, uh, I think it's this TM is a little bit less broken than the one they give you in the normal trial, which is Brick Break <laughs> or Totem Raticate. <laughs> yeah, they're just like. If you have a Pokemon that can learn this, you just win, basically. But uh, but yeah, um, in in Ultra Moon they replaced Scald with I think Charge Beam. Yeah, yeah. So so it's it's yeah, yeah Pop Poplio is much less good in in that game. Yeah, and you get Charge Beam instead, and Totem Arachnid holds the yep. electric resistant yep, they're, 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 they're looking to the sabotage. Yeah, here. they 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 just pulled out. Well, they, they, they just really try to make Ultra Moon as, <laughs> as annoying as possible in order for a lot of the things. Like, we're going to give you this thing that seems like it's going to help. Too bad. We're going to give. We're going to change the total Pokemon to something with absurd, spe absurd special defense and a type resist berry. But on the other hand, they gave you Hollow Triple Free. That is true. But removed Acrobatics so early. <laughs> Really would like to get hit on this turn, or else this may be a very slow fight. Okay, well that's not good. Aww. Yeah, we I might get the torrent here, but it's uh. Okay. Does it die two plus six at level twenty? I actually do not know. I don't know. Probably not. Maybe it's probably a range. I'm pretty sure it does actually die, because I remember that. When I started running this game, I wasn't aware that plus six without torrent was not as powerful as plus four with. Yeah. And one person anyway. this call taught me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, we, we don't we, we really want to make sure we one hit this because if we don't, it can call for help again and summon an Alamomola, which is pretty bulky and yeah, that would be bad. Yeah, it also has knows like heal pulse and helping hand. 
which yeah. uh, could screw you up. At least you're low HP here, so this is good for the drowsy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to try and leave this HP, leave the fight with with low torrent, so that you still have torrent after we use the rare candies in a second, so that we can always kill the drowsy. And then we're gonna be looking to uh, die in the battle royale later, which um, we don't we don't necessarily have to die, but like if we don't end up, um, well, dying is faster than killing the. Uh, the Litten, which would be the alternative. So. Will this run get the rare Z move usage in the. Oh my goodness. Why are we summoning this? <laughs> it's really, it's it's really my fault. Cause I, I, well, look, you, you look your, your attempts to curse yourself. Yeah, exactly. Earlier, exactly. It work, so, you know. It's really my fault. We briefly touched on this. So I before. believe for this, I believe for this candy, it's actually like slightly faster to get this after the grass, grass trial. trial. But I think the, uh, I think you couldn't quite get the movement to work consistently. Water when. Yeah, no, I uh, tried for several hours to get the movement past some trainer. Um, it's like half a second faster to get it after the grass trial, but it's just not possible. And then you like hop the ledges or something. Yeah, yeah exactly. just, just, so that, just so that you don't have to like so go go back on Lapras across the water and do and and do all that stuff because you can just like fly away from 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 after, gotcha, you, gotcha. after you get the candy. Yeah, because believe it or not, it's the slowest candy to get in the entire game that we get normally. Makes sense. And. I tried for several hours, but the problem is, to test that, you actually have to beat the grass trial over and over again, which is what takes the longest to do when you want to uh, test how to get the rare candy. So I gave up because it took too much time to... Because <laughs> <laughs> you end up not being in, no. in a location that you can do in post-game. Because you end up on a different tile. Right. Also, a nice aspect of how we use this candy is that we learn Bubble Beam outside of a battle, which takes much less time to cancel than in battle. It's a trip. <laughs> nice Mystic Water. Which in Ultra Moon you have to actually explicitly ask the kid to give you. Oh, that's lame. Yeah. And Mystic Water will not be used for a while, but it will definitely be good uh, later on. Yeah, so we I, I, at this point in the game, we already have access to the Mystic Water, which is a type boosting item, and then we also have access to the Water EMZ Crystal, which is not a combo that most Mons get access to. Like, usually it'll be like... Um, well, the type boosting items are very sparsely distributed in this game, for one. Like, you rarely will ever get a type boosting item that's not the Mystic Water quickly in this game. But, like, I mean, the Z Crystals, even them, like, obviously, like, you're gonna get more later on in the game. So, like, you know, the Fairy MZ, you get way later, so you're not gonna be able to use that for a long time. Yeah, okay, the, the one, only one that's fast. is the elemental one that they give you first as well. Like, it's just... I tell you, everything in this game is just geared towards Poplio. Exactly. But also Poplio gets access to Echo Voice and Normalium Z and Silk Scarf, right? Yeah, they're, they're, at the very start of this game's routine, there was like a route that used Echo Voice, which was very cool. But unfortunately, Echo, the Echo Voice TM is just... It just, it just takes too long to get. For it to and be it's worth not it. that great in, at the end either. Yeah. Yeah, I could voice move like powers itself up to, if you use it consecutively. Um, but yeah, just doesn't save enough time. Yeah, the totems really benefit more from like setting up 
a strong single move and then killing it in one shot instead of like hitting it over and over again. Whereas in like more traditional fights, it's like okay, you take a couple hits to kill this first Pokemon and then like you can just sweep the rest of the fight. It's not quite the same. Like for example, in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, as we I played the game a couple months ago, it's really benefits you. It's like a huge for the early game. I wonder who this is. This is the Mass Royal. It's the Mass he Royal. Tell, he tells you who he is. It says the Royal, so like I think, it, yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's just who he is. Clearly, this person wearing a Halucha mask was telling us to run Halucha and Ultra Moon before we even knew that it was oh, available. We signs. That's right. <laughs> By the way, I wanted to mention for those in chat watching live, uh, if you have any questions for Ed Bob Wartab, Garfield, all incredibly uh, knowledgeable Pokemon speedrunners, uh, if you have any questions about this run or any Pokemon speedrun in general, uh, definitely feel free to ask in the chat and they will uh, they will gladly answer them. Yes, please, please, please ask questions for sure. Sorry, I forgot <laughs> to mention that. All good. Yeah, there is there is plenty of time for that in uh, in this game in particular. It's uh, quite a you know laid back kind of thing with lots of lots of cutscenes, you know, we're just kind of talking about whatever we whatever's on top of our heads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this battle chugs in old 3DS. It's still not great in this oh, game. Oh yeah. It's really bad in old 3DS. Turns out when you nice. have four book one on the field. <laughs> Flinched by a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. I that is only 10% for Firefang to flinch. Not bad. A question, can it burn and flinch on the same turn? Yeah, it can. I think, I think so, yeah. And after doing the second, uh, the the second trial, we are doing the third trial immediately. It's pretty great. The pace on this island is the least terrible. There's very little extensive movies, but we will definitely have that be turned around later on. But for now, we're we're cruising. Yeah, earlier on, Headball B, he, he he used his candies here here, like with with the. Um, if if you if you didn't win those fights, you would candy much later than this, just to, because you kind of need to maximize the value of those candies to get to an important level for the next totem. Uh, so I so yeah, I imagine that's what helps you out here in mm -hmm. trying to one hit the salazzle. Yep. Yeah, it also helps you guaranteed one shotting the magmar. Oh, that's really that. good, actually. Yeah. And our favorite mascot, Hiker David. That's right. Pokemon community knew that uh, this guy was beloved by the community, so they they brought him back in a goofy way in Ultra Moon, which I thought was pretty pretty tongue in cheek. That was nice. Yeah, I didn't expect them to do that, but uh, they brought him back. We love all, we love Hiker David. That's right. But yeah, if you don't one shot the Magmar, which is like not possible in this route, um, you can get. Well, the correct move is to Aqua Jet, but then with that you can get burned by Flame Body, and then you either suffer hard in Salazzle fight, or you just you have to carry it away, which is really really slow. Yeah, you can go to Pokemon Refresh to cure status elements, but it's not fast. Awesome. Well, Gar a appropriate question in the chat about why, yeah. about why I love Encore because this is the run, you know, this is the one way we use make great use of Encore, so just. Just stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. And I will also... never I will never talk to the catchy tutorial guy in Crystal ever again. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You already got warmed up in XY with Encore anyway. 
Obviously, Brandon picked the hiker because he's the coolest. Yeah. If you pick the wrong option in this, you have to redo an entire battle. Yep. So you really need to maybe take an extra second to make sure you don't pick the wrong option. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's like that's the best option. The, yeah, smoke screen is the only way that this can take more than a turn. But it's also the fastest option when it works out well. So we have an 8 and 16 chance to one shot this Salazzle. Um, there is a silver lining if we if we miss it. Obviously, we lose that 30 seconds I was talking about earlier. But the um, thing about Gen 7 is when you enter an SOS battle, so when the Pokemon spawns their, their whatever, their helper, um, all EV yields for the fight get doubled. So you get a lot of speed EVs if you miss this range, which sometimes helps, sometimes doesn't. Um, but um, he's a, we, we want to kill this, but there, it's not the end of the world if we don't. Doesn't lose like a ridiculous amount of time. Yeah, the high experience route overall, if you get this range, gives you three extra speed EVs, which usually means one extra speed IV for battles where the speed IV matters. But if you miss this range, then it's seven IV. Ah, oh, close. One HP. So yeah, if you yeah, was, if, if we if you weren't able to kill the Salazzle right away, this could this fight could get like pretty dicey. Especially if you get Toxic turn one, you could get like Venom Drench plus Venom Shock, and then you like are in range of dying all of a sudden. With with, Flare, with Flame Body, we're completely fine though. Oh, yeah, and I think you almost sure. always Sorry. outspeed the Salandit with high experience as well. That's probably true too, yeah. So yeah, this is not that risky, but with lower experience you're only level 22 for this, and it's not great. I like how in chat somebody put Salazzle with a Pogchamp, and Pogchamp is like pretty much the exact face that Salazzle <laughs> makes when it appears in the, in, in the dance. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Nice, and another Z Crystal. We will be making extensive use of the Fire EMZ with our Primarina. And this, and this is the battle that um, also causes us to buy an antidote. Because uh, we do not go to next Pokemon Center and we need an antidote in case we got Toxic or Poison Gas, I think. No, it's always Toxic. toxic. Yep, toxic. I forgot. Wait, this doesn't land it at poison gas? I don't know. Maybe it does. I think this land has poison gas. Yeah. In uh, in earlier routes, you you would go shopping in the next center to get super repels, but uh, you just buy enough repels now to not to not need to make that shop. Yeah, there aren't actually a lot of Pokemon centers that sell X items. That center happens to be one of them, so I think you buy a couple there too, right? When on that old route. I no, think it you was don't. just an escape rope and super repels. Yeah, one escape rope and ten super repels. But you'd use you'd go to that Pokemon Center later to buy X items. But now we fly to Howl City instead after for your second shopping trip. Oh, this is another one of my favorite cutscenes because Colorus is just. He, he's just wearing so much. He's just wearing a heavy trench coat in Hawaii, in like the hottest Pokemon <laughs> region. In like the hottest Pokemon region. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Style comes first, always. Whatever style he's got. I don't think this even does anything, but like. Yeah, there's like a a spinner that you have to dodge an Ultra Moon there. No, no, not a spinner, but like there's a, there's a cycle where you might accidentally hit a trainer if you're not hugging the wall close enough. It's a lot more lenient in this game. Oh, is yeah. This is the first. This is the first game in the series to not have spinners. So 
Yeah, the, every every trainer's movement pattern is predictable, so just don't mess up your movement and you won't, and you won't hit any optionals. It's that easy. So true. Yeah, which also means that we might go for extremely tight cycles on <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, once you learn that there's a faster way to dodge some certain trainer, we will usually for go for it. And uh, if you're used to running Ultra Moon, then it's gonna mess you up because no trainers in the same position. Yeah, <laughs> it's very yeah, this slight Pokemon's differences. A pretty huge. This this Pokemon's a pretty huge difference between Sun and Moon. In Sun, you face a Parasect instead, which has the ability Dry Skin, so you cannot use your Water Moves on it. Um, so it necessitates you to pick up hidden power from the from the daycare uh, earlier on in the run. But in Moon, you can you can set up and score the Shinotic instead. Wow, man! Actually, two shot that with your garbage special attack. Ah, oh. that true. <laughs> wow! Didn't even go for it. That that does only very rarely die, and even with Ingrain, you could have gotten that. I'm pretty sure. I don't know which does does burn trigger before or after ingrain, I'm not actually sure. Uh before, before yeah. There you go then. Could have worked. Perhaps. What's my defense? Uh but probably more likely to not work. I think I'll probably just scald times two of these. Make up for the mistake I just did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a mistake, but it's Because with ingrain it takes some time if you don't get the range. Yeah, these Formantis can definitely kill you. They have Razor Leaf and a misplaced crit and your run. Especially since we do not go to that okay, um, I'll leave the next Pokemon one. Center. <laughs> yeah, that's probably better. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I can heal now. That did. I mean, yeah, you can heal, but still have to see more Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to not heal again. Fair enough. What the? Okay. Yeah, I don't know where that is either. <laughs> <laughs> Messed up. Alright, this is where the roots basically merge. Um, between the old experience, like the low experience root and the high experience root. Um, normally, you don't wreck candy there, but after next home mantis, because, but since. Uh, Headbook got extra experience from Salinity, could do it early. Which also completely secures the 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 kill on this Formantis. What is your defense? It's like a 13-13. Neutral. Oh. Maybe you wanna actually two shot this to, to get Fury Cutter. I I, I agree. That is not Fury Cutter. That's uh, good, but it's, hold on. But it's still pretty good because you can get, you can just heal with a potion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not definitely not safe to not heal this. So, all good. We'll just potion, and we'll be a little bit less than full. Ideally, you want to be a little bit less than full entering the next fight. I should have waited until whatever, but um, just because like the idea is you get torrent when on the turn that you like want to actually attack it. Um, and if you don't take enough damage, you'll you'll miss out on Torrent, and you got to do a bit of extra setup. Which any extra setup on the fight they're about to do is uh, an extra turn to get crit or Razor Leaf or yep. yeah. So this fight is definitely one of the worst fights in the game coming up. Um, yeah, it's a very dangerous one, um, as you'd expect from the Grass Trial, um, but. I mean that's what that's that that that's why we needed all those candies. We needed to get up to level twenty eight for this fight just to give us more favorable ranges here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this fight like heavily relies on like specific AI to just chew solar blade like as much times as possible. Even though it has razor leaf that will pretty much kill us like every time it has the chance to. Um, most of the time it just chooses not to use it, but sometimes it does, and then you'll die. And that's just great. And I feel like when you have lower defense, it just goes for it more often. Yeah, in this that's... section here, you, you don't have to mash as hard as head bobs doing. You only need to hit A six times in each uh, in each little bit, and it will and it will just advance to the next thing. But head bobs just showing off his insane mashing skills. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> 
All right, good luck, head bob. I will simply. I believe you also outspeed the drum beat. The trumpet, yes, right? that does make yeah. a play a lot better. Assuming Depending we hit the torrent, torrent. yeah. <laughs> when you when you when you not in torrent, you want it to be faster than you. And then you get supersonic, so, and then you're like, "Why did I wish for this?" It, it can technically kill even if we don't get hit in the torrent, but it's much less likely, and we don't want it to come down to that. Yeah, turn one, the Lance is holding a power herb, which means that it just that's not good. Skips the charge turn of Solar Blade. We are <laughs> one HP off torrent. Fantastic. And now we hope for a burn or a. <laughs> <laughs> Straight one shot, but a one shot here is extremely unlikely. Yeah. It's like way less than 50% to die. So please burn. <laughs> Man. Oh, it teased us a bit there. Wait, I have to kill it. Wait, I can't kill it. No, 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 no. I can't kill it. That's just silly. <laughs> now you have to scald it next turn. Okay, good. Yeah, that's just the kind of lacking uh, end. We got Razor Leaf, that's unfortunate. That, I did not expect that, honestly. Hopefully this time we just get into Torrent. I agree. Yes. Gonna... So this Rurantis has also not fixed attack stat. Uh, it, ha it, it has a fixed nature, I believe, yep. and fixed stats and everything except for attack. So, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you can get a Rurantis that hits harder. Sometimes it's not that good and uh, three really just it just comes down to luck if uh, if it's gonna get you into torrent. Funnily enough, everything about all of the totem fights are fixed except for the attacks. Like all the attack IVs it's, are always random. Yeah, it's well, yeah, specifically physical attack. Special attack is not is yes, fixed. yes, yes. Sorry. Physical attack, physical attack is it's just is just randomized for I don't know. Look, I I, I can't explain it. It's it's it's, it's just one of those. One of the things where you shrug your shoulders and be like, well, that's that's Pokemon for you. But they also have like EVs <laughs> on top of that. Yeah. Like, even the totems, they get that boost and they get the EVs. I think this yep. one has a speed boost. Yep. Yep. So you like. If you imagine if this thing got an attack, they scared just me. I don't know what you'd do. Die horribly. Better attack, better attack. Sure. Okay, oh. there we go. There nice. we are, alright. Much better. That's what you want to say. Just like we will see this razor leaf again. <laughs> no. Die! <laughs> okay, okay, good. No razor leaf. Mm -hmm. Wind torrents of Trombie always dies. And then we're gonna heal twice. Hopefully you get hit in the torrent on the next turn. Can't safely potion mm -hmm. here, unfortunately, so I... I'll do it like that. Very unlikely to get hit in the torrent here, but... Oh, oh one <laughs> off again! Come on! I only oh, have one potion. Okay. No, I don't do that. That, is so, that looks not safe. No, I know. No, I would, I would, if I had two potions, I would have done it. Alright, so this... Yeah, okay, so two X special attacks corresponds to one X special attack in torn damage wise. Give or take. <laughs> no, actually this is exactly this is exactly the same damage wise, so this is this will just go down. I, I guess you could have X defended, right? But I, I suppose you don't have an extra. He has an extra. But I, it doesn't I guess it's kinda better to actually go for the extra X defense because then you have Torn for the next battle. But I just don't like it because... Yeah, low HP is scary. I don't like it. <laughs> For that fight. <laughs> yeah, at least, at least this way we went... Like, it, 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 yeah, we were... We were a bit higher HP, so we were a bit... It was a bit less scary to... Alright, so we're, even if, we're through the... if it wasn't, like, optimal, as it were. We're through arguably the hardest fight in the run, so that's that's good. There's not... <laughs> Many comparable fights. So it's again. all easy from here, right? right? No other hard That's fights right. in this run. There's no other hard fights. We, we're basically done already, actually. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, GG. <laughs> now I can go make my dinner.
<laughs> also, no, we did not grab an extra HPV. That's all the trials done on this island. Great. Mm -hmm. Good progress. And this is where the cutscenes start again. So I, have a, I have a question. Um, not from chat from me, but uh, have, have we talked much about like Ultra Moon as a speedrun? We've talked a little bit about it here and there. Bit, yeah, uh, I, think it, I think it's good to highlight kind of uh, the differences in the run because it is kind of the same game, but also not. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah what, are, the, what are the differences between the runs? There's there's quite a lot, really. Like the the the, the main one is the main difference. Um, like the difference in, the difference in like which Pokemon you run. Like we've talked about it a little bit, but like you trade for a Horlucha early on, and you end up using that. Uh, some of the totems change. There are some extra fights here and there. The totems are generally harder because they have better moves or better held items. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I mean it's generally a a harder game, uh, like casually and in a speedrun, really. So, uh, I mean that. Yeah, uh, I, I I haven't really run it because I really don't like a particular part of Ultra Moon, which is like <laughs> five hours into the run and yeah. you can lose time for no reason. Oh, but uh, I don't like yeah, that. Good, <laughs> good old good old good old Ultra <laughs> Warp ride, just like. Can, can you find the can will the white wormhole show up or will it just decide not to and lose you time for no reason? It's uh <laughs> pretty nasty. Uh but yeah, I haven't I haven't really read it more more uh these two will be able to talk more about yeah. the specific differences. I, I really like the it. um the Zorua thing. It is sweet. that that is cool, yes, how you can make take advantage of Zorua's. The fight ability. is like borderline unwinnable without some sort of cheese strategy. For like a lot mm. of different Pokemon, it's like Ultra Necrozma is so stupidly strong with just the way it's built, the stats, it gets a, a boost and its move set, and how much higher level it is than you. It's just like yeah. a perfect storm of like a horrible fight. Yeah, in Ultra Moon, up until here, the game is fairly free. The only real trouble you have is against Toto Marak, and even then, when you have high enough defense, it's not that terrible. Um, but for her Lucha, it's actually quite the opposite. The early game is fairly free, and then the late game is just horrific because you just die to any crit, you have to hit high jump kicks left and right, flying presses left and right. Fly left um, and right. It's just not great. Um, Why for Pop, it's really the early game that is really rough in Moon because you cannot really make bites work out safely without losing a ton of time by getting extra experience. Uh, and then, I, I guess uh, just after this part, it's fairly safe for Poplio. There's like a few fights that can troll you, but nothing that can really kill you. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, for this is the third island is where for in Ultra Moon, it's just awful. <laughs> Yeah, your final form is as as your starter is just is is, is just really good in this game. Mm -hmm. Like once we get once we get what once we once we evolve, we'll be part fairy. We'll 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 get we'll you know get a stronger water move. We'll eventually get moon blast, which is just a bonkers strong attack. And uh, yeah, I mean it's you you you'll you'll see it later. But it's just it, it, its move set is just really good when we when we get to that point. We're kind of at the moment we're kind of just using water moves and occasionally encore um but yeah that, that will change uh, as we progress throughout the run yeah i wonder when game freak will realize that they forgot to make moonblast 90 power <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's weird like that's yeah it's it's mo most most of the special moves were a lot of them were nerfed in Gen Six from 95 to 90 power. Moonblast is 95 power, and it's and it's and it's got an additional effect that can lower your opponent's special attack, which is a 30 percent chance, by the way, which is crazy for a move that strong. It's it's just a it's just an insane move. 
It's funny that they introduced that in Gen 6 while like at the same time lowering all the <laughs> other moves. Yeah. I feel like there's only one battle in this game where dropping the special attack is actually good for you. And that's uh, against Lapras. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, but I mean, I, I was just thinking more like just as a general move. Yeah, in general terms, you're right, yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, if you're in Torrent, you can tower the Salander and dies. Uh, not the Salander, the, the Formantis and it dies. Which is uh, quite nice because double battles aren't exactly fast. Also, Razor Leaf can be kind of scary, especially if you're in, in Torrent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And do quite a bit of damage. Congrats, Headbob, for not getting on Taurus here. <laughs> <laughs> Time loss. So we're actually going to get... Um, you might have noticed while I was fighting the, the Lorantis that I was... Definitely running out of healing items. I have next to none right now. We're gonna get a bunch more in a moment um, from this herb shop guy. And herb shops sell herbs that lower your friendship, but also are sold more cheaply, so we can get a lot more than we would normally be able to get. Um, and at like a Pokemon Center or something, which is really nice. Yeah, in this game they have like. You know, they, they, we, we raised Poplio's affection earlier to boost the experience, but that is a different stat than friendship. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a little bit weird. They did merge those two stats in in, uh, cool. in, 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 yeah, in, in, <laughs> in later games, but uh, in this one they're separate. It's a little bit strange, but I mean... So, yeah, so, so, yeah but just using the energy roots doesn't... It doesn't hurt us in any way. It doesn't lower our affection, make us lose a 20% experience boost or anything. Yeah, which is funny because in the game BDSP, we buy uh, herbs to lower affection, the affection effects, because it's so slow to get the wiggle at the start of every fight. So on the Kadabra, we use energy roots, even when we don't need to. Yeah, just casually in BDSP, I... I, I used I I tried to, I, I I tried to use like um, herbs as much as I could because I couldn't I didn't like it when they like do randomly dodge moves and stuff but you can't really avoid that uh, just playing casually BDSP picked up a very important item there the spell tag which will see dividends much later on in the run but yeah very important for the end game I think I should be able to, oh I don't know. I'm not sure whether I can. Are you like before we didn't get spell tag? Had you never considered it, Garf, or did you? I no, I didn't. I hadn't thought about it. Yeah, spell tag plus an extra candy that we get makes the Lunala section a lot better, especially if you have a good one. Makes even if you have a bad one, it requires less setup. It's pretty nice. Always kind of saves time. Wasn't sure, but. Yeah, you, you need extra setup on Gladion, for example. Because that... Uh, what is the ice Pokemon called? The ice dark Weavile, Pokemon? Weavile, yeah. Weavile would just not die at plus 4. Then you take one extra ac acrobatics and your Lunala no longer lives. How? <laughs> it just all kind of like snowballs into time loss. So something that happened there is um, the speed EVs that I got from the Salandit actually did matter on that Raticate. I didn't realize that it did, um, but I, I would have outsped, meaning I could have skipped the Z move and not had to risk getting flinched by um, Hyper Fang. Wait, what is your speed IV? 16 to 18 plus. Ooh, okay. So it did actually outspeed it. What, what is it, a speed tie? I don't think it can be a speed tie. I think it skips from 42 to 44. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. Um, I just learned something. <laughs> it should skip from 43 to 45, right? 
No, it's 42. Oh. Yeah, no, no, it is 42 to 44. You're right, you never mind. Yeah. So this fight is uh, absolutely awful in Ultra Mode. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. For this, this fight is just so bad for Holucha in Ultra Mode. You have to, like, use a special feature in that game that boosts all of your stats to, to get through this reasonably because... What a roll. What the heck? Yeah, Golbat is just very nasty for Holucha to, to deal with at that point in the game. Yeah, the Roto Boost there is just very convenient, though. Like, it makes you... Just slightly faster than the Golbat, it makes you just barely live two hits from wing attack. And it also allows you to two hit KO the Golbat. It's it is kinda of perfect though in that battle, you gotta admit. But without that I don't know what we would do. Yeah, I don't know. You'd have to do some it, it you you'd just do more setup I guess, like with X defenses and all that, but it would be it would be awful. Yeah, and then the confusion on top of that is just Yeah. Perfect. All right, so we're coming into the grand trial here against Olivia, um, the final battle on this island. We did do a lot of major events on this island, so not. So we're coming to the end of that, which is really nice. Um, we'll take a we'll take a, a break again after this after this fight. Um, but for now, um, the the idea is here is to get Torrent so that we don't die to Lichen Rock, because that will Z move us and murder us. Um, we would set up on this fight, so it's all rock types, obviously. Olivia has rock types. Um, two of her Pokemon have sturdy. So if it so we basically just do a lot of like two shotting on this fight. Um Nose Pass has Spark, which is kind of annoying. Likely going to get paralyzed. Um other way, if, they, if these Pokemon didn't have sturdy, we'd we would just set up and we would just be fine. Um but it's it just makes more sense to do it this way. Um Boulder has Rock Blast, but a weird quirk with the AI is it won't use it because it sees that it's a lower power move than Headbutt, um, even though Rock Blast does do more damage with the uh, the additional hits. So we're going to get Headbutted over and over again, and we're going to use that to get into Torrent for Lycan Rock. Yeah, it only looks at the projected, the projected damage for one hit, which uh, I think has been a problem since Gen 5 that they have just never fixed. Okay. Nice. So, head up here instead of healing the paralysis, just next speed to still outspeed the nose pass uh, because it is slightly more likely to hit through paralysis than um, it is to not get paralyzed again from spark. I hope I said that with the right amount of knots in the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yes, spark, spark, Spark's got a thirty percent chance to paralyze, and you've got, a, and which is a higher, ch which is, which is more likely to happen than, than it would be for you, uh, than, than, it, than uh, wait, hold on, <laughs> than it would be for you to get fully paralyzed. Um, oh, jeez, I'm getting all mixed up now. Thirty uh, percent chance for Spark to fully para, versus twenty five percent chance for you to get to get fully paralyzed if you're if you're already paralyzed oh jeez I, I, i'm yeah whatever i don't know i'm saying it all wrong as well it it look it just trust me all right it makes sense what we do here uh um there's a there's a question about whether there's any speedruns that use max mushrooms in gen 8 there actually is we have the uh tower of two fists run in that game where you could where you where you have to try and uh, get get cub food to and and evolve it and you do you can make use of max mushrooms in that speed run yep and yeah but it's an item that only came after the dlc so yeah. it's not used in the main speed run yeah roto boots however are used in the ultra moon speed run a lot because there are some fights that just become infinitely worse when you don't but you don't have those, like 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 uh, Garf said, the Plumeria fight we just did is a lot worse without a Roto Boost. You yeah. get what two for free that you, so you got to like, ration those a bit. Just got to try and use them where you where it's highest value. You'd probably use more if you could, but uh, oh yeah, there's three places where you'd really want them, right. but you only have two. Sorry, uh, <laughs> we're gonna take a break when I get uh, access to the game again. So okay. do three, two. One, go. Awesome. All right, we're going to do another break here. Uh, run's still going on. Don't go anywhere. Be back in just a few minutes. But before I do that, I just wanted to do uh, one more quick announcement. Is that um, 
If you aren't watching on YouTube, be sure to press the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're watching live and you're missing out on previous Hotfix shows, you can also check that out on the YouTube. That is youtube.com slash games done quick. And if you're watching the YouTube, you can check out the live stuff at twitch.tv slash games done quick. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, the run will continue. Don't go anywhere. Hello and welcome back everybody to the GDQ Hotfix. We are in the middle of a Pokemon Moon any percent speed run. Head Bob, just go ahead and count us back into it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so <laughs> we're about done with the second island. Uh, we're going to hop right back into it and we're going to move on. Okay. We're, um, we're almost ready. So, uh, all right. Three, two, one, go. So with, so with beating Olivia, we're done with the second island. We're not going to make our way to the boat to take us to uh, the third island. Which uh, I know the name of. Thank you, then. Uh. Okay, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember either, actually. It's. I'm bad. It's Akala. melee, melee, Akala, pony. This one's Akala, yeah. What the heck is that? <laughs> Ula Ula. Oh, Ula Ula. There you go. That's the one. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> So yeah, um, we're gonna get taken to Aether Paradise for a moment. Um, we just get a little tour of it. Um, Lucimine very generously uh, offered to us, along with Fava. Um, just, just a nice little a conservation. It's like she's like keeping Pokemon and just like you know, just making sure they're okay. Very very generous hobby. Very wholesome. Very wholesome, that's right. And this is where the hand pain generally starts when you run the game. <laughs> that's about right. There's so much so much text in this part. <clears throat> and conveniently okay. for the story, Lily was not with us when we got brought to this island. This is true. Can you imagine how much nicer these games would be to run if you had hold to mash? Goodness me. <laughs> the five hours would just fly by. <laughs> well, okay, it's still <laughs> long, but you know. <laughs> um, and we haven't talked a lot about the story at all, but like, if you haven't played Sun and Moon casually, I, I would definitely recommend it. It's definitely got one of the better stories, I, in my opinion, of the game. It's like, um, it's very unique, as we touched upon. Um, and for a, a Pokemon game, which is not necessarily known for its story all the time, it's, it, it really surprised me. So if you haven't tried it, definitely give this game a shot. Some people prefer Ultra Moon, but I think story-wise, this game is just better. I agree. Yeah, these but, the, 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 these two um, Moon versus uh, Sun Moon versus Ultra Moon Ultra Moons probably like the, uh, the, the the one case where it's like less clear cut as to which game is superior because they both do different things, better or worse. Like I think Ultra Moon is, for me, I think parts of it are too hard, but I do like. I do like um, the. I really like the Rainbow Rocket episode in Ultra Moon. I think that was fantastic. Yeah, I thought that was really cool, and uh, and they they do they do have some little touches here and there, like some little little side questy things that make the that that make the world feel a bit more alive in that game. But uh, but this game I think has the edge in terms of story, and I think it's a a more, a, a, a better difficulty. Mm hmm. I don't know. I feel like if you're able to beat the game with just one Pokemon, is it really that difficult? <laughs> it's so easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> so true. I mean, you. I mean, we, we, we In Ultra Moon, you, you don't, right? You, you, ha you do have to fall back on some other Pokemon from time to time. True. I guess there you go. But not as much as this game. So this game is harder. If you think about it, uh, this game relies on Picky Pack. 
and on Lunala. You technically don't like need to use Lunala, right? Like it, it would just be like a little bit slower, right? Premarina could probably make it. You could you could do it with you could do it with Premarina if you had, um but yeah. You you just get given Lunala, so you can take advantage of that in places where it's faster. But you think Lun uh, Primarina could deal with Olivia? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's uh, if it, uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> Totem Lorantis is one thing, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's gonna be much later. But Lunala has a very broken move, just like Solgaleo has uh, an equally broken move. Mhm. Mm they definitely stepped it up in the legendaries in the last couple generations. They definitely like made them better. Yeah, to to some people's uh, dismay, I think some people are, uh, I think, you know, I remember in VGC, people are just like continually mad whenever Xerneas comes back, you know, just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a geomancy sweep with moon blast, it's like, get it out of my sight kind of thing. <laughs> Not great for the speedrun, though. Yeah, underpowered for the speedrun. Simply by default, by just not being level 70 at that point. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, one part of the game here where it's just random time loss, potentially. Because there's a lottery here, whether you take one or five turns to finish this battle. Five turns, good cut. So perhaps, so perhaps, perhaps that will help us slightly. Yeah, yeah, we'll speed it. I agree. That two percent. Well, okay, <laughs> we're not going to outspeed it, but it, but uh, <laughs> but I think you do have a better chance of running if you if you do have higher speed. Is that true? Don't outspeed this. I think so. I don't think I knew that. I think, I think that I I thought yes. the speed differential did did matter. Yes, but, uh, well, like, we uh, <laughs> didn't do the that time. Okay, it's well, like two percent better, I think, with the best popliu. It was a good try. But it, I think, running at a speed die is fifty-fifty, and then the bigger the speed differential from there, it's like worse to run. And then I think it adds like fourteen percent more to the previous turn whenever you run. That's why at the end it's guaranteed to run. Yeah, I know. But, I Subsequent chances gate were a bit bit more likely. Yeah, I, th I forgot the exact math, so don't quote me on the numbers. But th the mechanic is true. And um, I forgot what I wanted to say. There was something about speed again. <laughs> <laughs> well, in Ultra Moon, it's guaranteed to run because Halucha is faster. Incredible. We should just use Machop. Oh wait, oh wait. Yeah. Please get Halucha into Moon. I feel like Halucha in Moon would just be like good to the point where like it isn't even fun. It's just like it, it would be so insane with acrobatics early and the power difference between Ultra Moon and Moon. It's a big detail though to get acrobatics in in this game. I mean, I guess. I, some people used to get Flying MZ. And um, in Ultra Moon, you do an extra battle for that, so. And it's not even a free battle, you can actually die to it. I did actually do a trade alt main run of this with Halucha. Break breaking acrobatics before leaving the first island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is a trade alt main? Oh, trade alt main is a uh, type of speedrun in Pokemon that Etiquette and I pioneered. <laughs> Etiquette also a great Pokemon speedrunner. Also had multiple GDQ appearances. And uh, it's uh, basically a run where we removed the random element of getting a uh, Pokemon with uh, random stats. And instead, we get a Pokemon that we trade over to the game that we want to speedrun. Uh, decide on its characteristics so we can say, we can 
breed it to have certain IVs, a certain ability, uh, and then we get that extra experience boost of 50% and just uh, run the game with it. And a lot of people got into rooting Pokemon thanks to uh, that because it make, removes many aspects that are annoying of having damage calculations for a wide uh, range of possible stats. Uh, it's pretty neat and yeah, it's also, usually faster. Also really easy to do in Gen 8 because you have Pokemon Home in that game so you can like trade from one profile to Pokemon Home and then to your fresh profile so it's uh, nice and easy to set up in the, in, in, in Sword and Shield. Uh, and you can do like lots of different st cool stuff with trade up mains in that game. Such no Electro Ball here. <laughs> Electro Ball can kill you, but the AI is a bit weird with Electro Ball, probably because of the um, weird calculation it does for the speed. Makes sense. Very nice that you don't have to win that battle because, uh, yeah, it would um, not I be think easy. I, actually ca I think I casually lost to this fight because I just wasn't expecting it. It gets right out the gate. He just sends out this Alolan Raichu with Psychic, and uh, it was just, yeah, it, it's it's a pretty nasty fight in general. Yeah, so the the high experience route actually at some point was um, even worse because we want the experience from that Raichu. With oh jeez, because um, with, there's also a very high experience route where you don't use just two rare candies, but three to be level 25 for Salazzle to guarantee the range on it. But then you also had to make up for that extra experience that you lose from using rare candies that early, and uh, you you'd have to gain experience from that right shoot, and that is by far not guaranteed. Because it can like quick attack you, and it's not guaranteed to die to Z Scald. It's just awful. Yeah, it's it was really bad. Yeah, so it's just in my opinion, just better to go for the Salazzle range than to hope to get that much experience two and a half hours into the run. Yeah. There was a question in chat about whether this is the first gen when you can lose fights and still progress the plot. It's not, but this is the game that you that, that you t you can take advantage of it the most in. Yes, um, definitely true. By far, you can you can lose like most rival fights to like this is like to How and to Gladian. Uh, there are some fights that you really wouldn't think you'd be able to lose that you can that we'll get to later on as well. And uh, like in 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 X and Y, you you have like a few death warps and stuff, but like and there are some fights that you theoretically could lose, but you don't be, because you want the experience um this is a game that like really th th that really has the highest number of opportunities to make use of losable battles yeah and i believe ev in every generation you can lose the first rival battle yeah that sounds right no well not 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 hoen Oh yeah, not over that. Oh right, right cuz that's that's not until a bit later yeah. But in uh I think gen 1 and 2 you can. Yeah, I think so. Diamond and pearl too cuz you also Yeah, cuz that, that's that's later. another that's yeah. another late rival, yeah. I mean gen 2 is also quite late, but that one you can lose. Yeah, you can lose that one. Wait, is it only in Hard Gold Soul server? Or is it also in general? I think it's now, a, no, you can. It's both, I, I you, oh, yeah, I think you can lose in. Oh man, I'm now I'm dying myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I pride you in Gen 2. I was maybe, certain. Maybe you, maybe you I was certain when I said it, but now I'm <laughs> no longer certain. <laughs> I know in Hard Gold, it's for sure you can I feel lose I, should, I should know this. I've, I've, I've done like crystal bingos and everything. What the heck? My mind has just gone blank here. Hmm. Yeah, and I did Gen 2 runs, and it's definitely not a free battle. I mean, is it? Okay, forget Without forget. the berry, I think it definitely is not free. <laughs> they give you like a berry as an insurance policy. Um, in Ultra Moon, this is, this is a library, which is where you would get Fly. 
Uh, fly is very painful for Hawlucha. Missing is bad. It's also very slow. You don't like to use it, but we don't have to do that here. We instead read some lore and then leave, and then we move on. The fly is fast, sharp beak. True. I think we use, should use Flygon with Fly and... <laughs> and Dig. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I only have one Repel left, and I am about to go through some Grass. Um, it's definitely not worth it to Repel for this amount of Grass, so we're just going to YOLO it. There you go. Yeah, you that have to like stay on the stay on the on that on that edge of the path because if you don't, uh, uh, you, you'll get an encounter jumping out of you, at you from the tree. So you got to hug that bottom edge there. Yeah, and um, that that is, can be like a hero, and um, quite likely you don't run from a hero. I once got a skarmory that I couldn't fast. run away from, and then it's it spawned in another skarmory. Oh no. This is like very unlikely. Yeah, I think it's more likely if they have low HP that they call for help. Wow, you are okay that I was about to say you're getting unlucky but then you burned. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hit yourself so you know even though swings and roundabouts. Yeah, this is one of the more dicey special attacks that you can be at. Uh, yeah, that is that is a definite Z move here. I mean, yeah. Is that even safe? Can I? I mean, I, I mean, I did the crit. Oh, actually, no. You can. No, 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 no. This is not a Z move. Actually, you can just scald Aqua Jet. Simply. And then it's gonna miss Hyper Frank. <laughs> it's it's only okay. <laughs> it could also be that. Yeah, crits are, crits are in the Maybe be 1 fine. in 24 be base, base in this game. It used to be 1 in 16 in previous games before this. Um, but I mean, in Gen 7 misses, onwards, it's 1 in 24. Yeah, if it misses, it's not bad. Yeah, it's fine. I yeah. mean, it's not bad. Yeah, I just called again. I've been crit. Wow, <laughs> it actually happened. Uh, nice. Well, <laughs> nice memes. And the funny thing is you have to redo the first battle. That's, so uh, that's some comedy right there. <laughs> Sorry. I did not mean to say it. that is nice. There you go. Clearly I'm the one who can who, who clearly I'm the one who has the power to to curse these runs because I because you know right after I talk about how crit chance has been reduced, it just uh, <laughs> it just happens right before our eyes. See it wouldn't even matter if I had had Z scalded there. Yeah, I, d I mean, if you really want to play this safely, you use the scout the, the gold bat. But it's still not it's still a range. <laughs> safe. It's uh, it's a range, and also uh, it, if it confuses you, you're at risk anyway. But yeah, this, at this special attack, there's nothing that is like 100% sa safe. Yeah. You can kind of just have to to uh, improvise. I think with your special attack, this is Z Scald is like a 13 and 16, yep. right? Yeah, yep. that's right. Yeah, we will make more use of Mystic Water for the 20% uh, boost to water moves later, but for now, we will be using the Z move a fair bit for certain fights, so we don't really want to swap off of that at the moment. God, that is a much better outcome here. Yes, I do like this a lot better. <laughs> <clears throat> and in this case, I think you move on Raticate is better. Not sure I didn't. I don't have the kites in front of me. I think I'm getting hit in the torrent though. But then it's not better. And it's the same. Yeah, the idea is you want to get hit in the torrent off the first hit and then finish it with Aqua Jet. Yeah, because this Raticate does not have quick attack. Very good. 
didn't even go for hyper fang, so no chance of a flinch at least. Perfect. Easy. Why didn't you do that immediately? You're so right. Now I don't know if there's any point in doing some alternative experience stuff here. No, no, no. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't risk it on the fly. Yeah, the uh, the twenty level twenty five like higher experience rather we were talking about earlier that kills Raichu would instead um, candy after um, the next fight instead of before. Um, so the experience is a little mentioned. bit different. It's worth mentioning that uh, for I think it's between five a.m. and six a.m. game time, uh, you um, you you actually get rain in that area. But it's it's not unfortunately you can't make it work in a run because setting it to that time also means that you get hail in Mount Lanakila later, which is really bad. So it's just a time save that you unfortunately can't really make use of. Don't you also get rain in Mali Garden? Yeah, you get yeah. So you, 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 you yeah, you, you if you timed it right, you'd be able to have rain for the Nanu battle as well. The Nanu battle, isn't Guzma, right? Oh, for oh, for no, yeah, but uh, yeah, wouldn't that be bad for Guzma? With Razor Razor Shell, Shell? Yeah. <laughs> well, just, uh, just, just 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 don't get hit. Just I don't know. Don't get crit. I don't know. It'll be fine. Just don't get defense dropped. Yeah, I, don't worry about it. I guess you could two shot it with like psychic sparkling area. Not sure. Nice rare candy here. Very conveniently placed to reach level thirty-three here. Yeah. So even though that was like a. A pretty horrible rare candy, objectively, because we missed like a lot of experience by by doing that. But having it's really nice that we can have thirty three for this fight and then evolve before the actual totem Pokemon. Yeah, normally you'd not have that much experience here, but yeah, because of the death, uh, we had an extra robot, and you have two extra speed on top of that. Let's go. So now yeah, we have like nine extra speed EVs compared to normal. Imagine if you evolved at level 36 of like... Uh, oh like my goodness. Games. <laughs> the evolve then becomes a very problematic fight. Yeah. Nice to have water gun for this fight just so that we don't push Mulane into heal range and uh, don't have to, like, risk burns when we don't need to. I mean, sometimes you go for... When you have low defense, you go for Scald, because then you kind of want to burn. <laughs> that makes sense? Yeah. It's a bit tricky here, because what we okay, want perfect. is to, ta take, to take quite a bit of damage, but also don't want to die. <laughs> The CP's perfect. Uh, yeah, hopefully Duck Trio helps us out a bit here. Yeah, good sucker punch here would be good. Oh, wow. No! <laughs> oh, that is. Yeah. That is not Mud good. Mudbomb misses is bad. <laughs> we really want Torrent for the upcoming token battle. And we are not particularly close. We have to do quite yeah, a bit of stalling now. Yeah, which can, can be risky because. The one Pokemon we have to do it on has String Shot, and we become slower after just one String Shot. And we can also not damage it too much because it has Swarm. <laughs> Comet Shard sells for a lot of money, so pick that up there so we can afford more stuff later on. Alright, we'll see how this goes. String Shot can definitely... Be scary. Because we're going to be... Um, I think we're pro probably, probably two hits away from getting Torrent. Maybe, maybe one, but... Um, yeah, the stats on this group are completely random. So it, it might actually two-shot you with a uh, bug bite if it wants. Yeah. 
There's a lot of unknowns with this. Uh, yeah, this has it's kind of awkward because you might want to use Aqua Jet turn one. Yeah, but it's and you could also hit it into into over, not overgrow into swarm. Yeah, we want to aim for 18 yeah, HP or lower. Perfect. So that is very nice. Yeah, so now we're going to evolve, and even with the HP increase we're going to get, we're still going to keep Torrent as Primarina, which is exactly what we're looking for. So we finally have Primarina, and with it we're going to get it's very broken signature move that will carry us through the mid to late game. And evolutions in this game take forever. Because <laughs> you get one of the slowest evolution animations, and then you get one of the slowest dex entries. <laughs> oh hey look, you finished the evolution line, let's do a little animation. You did it! Like we're playing bingo over here. I think it's finally time to get rid of Water Gun. It's stuck around too long. We have Sparkling Area, 10 more power than Scald, and hits everything in a double battle. Very, very nice move. And it heals Burn. It's so true. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that'll come in handy. <laughs> it can. It actually can. When you are have Gobat as your ally in Aether Paradise and Magma burnt the Gobat, you can sometimes prevent it from dying. Does it tank way. Sparkling Aria? Yeah, sometimes it does. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very likely though. Uh, when it that flame bodied can help. So yeah, on top of all the setup we just did to get Torrent, the Vicavolt can also be a range because it is always plus special defense. Um, so missing that is also an auto death. Um, so I mean, fortunately we have enough special attacks so that's not actually a range, but um, it is pretty close. In this quiz, however, uh, you can pick the wrong answer and don't lose that much time, because it just um, gives an electroshock to <laughs> Sophocles. You don't have to do an extra battle like the fire trial. Isn't this trial easy with Primarina than with Torcat? Oh yeah, I mean Primarina does the best out of anything. Yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, Vicable has an Akaberry, which reduces the power of super effective fire moves. Oh, okay. Well, there we have it. <laughs> there you go. What I've just really wanted to see Sophocles being shot. I knew I was going to do that too but because that one pops up faster than the others. I, oh, now I'm curious, what happens when you pick Listen Again? Because <laughs> it's like playing immediately. We have a question from chat. Is the Star Dime manipulated in this game? Um, no, it's not manipulated, but it is actually possible in this game to RNG manipulate things, which is not very common compared to some of the other Legion games. Um, Gen 6 RNG manipulation is horrible, we don't, you don't even consider it ever. But Gen 7 is like, kind of reasonable, but it, it just takes too long and is not consistent enough to be worth it. So we just... Yeah, you, like, you, have, you, you have to like... Uh, you, have, you have to like look at the clock face in your... Uh, you have to like go back and, and like repeatedly look at the clock face in the, in, in the intro to see what way the hands are facing several times to verify your seed then you'd have to like punch that in and you know it would, it would it would take a long time to set up an RNG manipulated Pokemon in this game and um, the it's also starter RNG manipulation is 
one of the harder ones to do because there are NPCs that can mess with your RNG stuff. Without going into too much detail, but starter RNG manipulation is incons very inconsistent in Gen 7. Um, you, if you, there was no NPC around you and there was something really good, you could go for it, but the starters specifically are not very reasonable to go for. Yeah. And if you wanted to RNG manipulate, you'd kind of want to aim for something that's really good, but then you'd also have to wait for a frame to be good for, for the run. And that would also take forever, so we kind of just rely on luck. Do yeah, I think like NPC blinks advance RNG in in, in this game? So it's, it's yeah, it's it's just not it's not not the easiest thing to do when you have to go through oh, cutscenes when you have when you have NPCs. I thought that was Gen Six. I thought I thought it happened in this game. It definitely happens in yeah, a lot of Legend anyway. games. It's definitely in like BDSP or whatever. But oh, okay, then it's maybe more than one game. But it's just awful. Yeah, it's not very fun. The clock face is like the only way it's like even like remotely doable without custom firmware, which of course we don't get access to in speedruns. Yeah, we just got Psychic just as a random gift that pre reader could learn it and it just and it just happens to cut to like cover some of the types that we don't hit that we don't hit all that well, so it's like yeah, I mean, this is it's just a gift for Prima, Prima you Marina, know, this, this, uh, this run. A gift that keeps on giving. Yep. Yeah, we teach you just after getting a more powerful move than Scald, so that is just lines pretty, pretty well. And this is also the last battle where you theoretically could use hidden power if you had it. Mm -hmm. In this case, it would be hidden power flying. Uh, but that would also require a bit of a higher special attack ID to be consistent. Yeah, I think. It, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do this. It saves one turn, <laughs> right? If it goes well, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you have some awkward situations with your sparkling aria PP. Yeah. Your boy, Uzma. Your yeah, boy. Team Skull is so goofy. I just, I, I love them. They're, it's, it's, yeah, that great. They're so unserious. I like how it was right after X and Y, where oh. they were just like. They look. They they looked pretty serious. They were they were like a little goofy, but they just wholeheartedly embraced it in this game. A lot of HP leaving this way. So we wanted to play around Goliath Pod's emergency exit there. So if it falls below fifty percent HP, it will force it will switch out automatically. So we just want to avoid that because that's slow. Sixty-one. I take a Thunder Punch, so I don't have to heal. With that small crit asterisk? <laughs> well, yeah. Look, we've already been crit once, that's uh, that's all we're gonna get in this game. That's right. We're we'll fine. I like never see Thunder Punch anyway. Usually, it's usually light screen, right? Light screen. Yeah. yeah, light screen's pretty common from what I remember. And then you aqua jet it and get static. They will get an upgrade. We get Primarium Z, which we'll never use because the extra power does not matter. I mean, we were. <laughs> are we ever using like Z Z Waterium Z like again? Anyways, like you might do on 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 on, on the next totem. But yeah, and on go Goldbat as well. Oh, this is true. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like there's and any ranges to, with those, so... Yeah. And we used one in the second Goliath spot. I'm not sure how... Hmm. 
Yeah, I remember in some cases it was faster to use it on the second Goliath spot if you like if it meant you could skip a heal. Let's do this. Yeah, because Head Bob used one extra repel somewhere he shouldn't have. Um, this is a not too slow way of um, using just one here. Otherwise, you'd go at the grass below and use two repels instead. And as far as I know, you can't get encounters on Mudsdale, is that right? So you just worry about the grass patches? I think you, you, can't, get get, you, you can't get it on those rocks. rocky bits anyway, I don't think. No, I don't think so. I don't think. Uh, maybe. Oh, I don't maybe think you it's can. It's been too long. I feel like maybe I. You can. I feel like I looked and there wasn't any encounter tables on Bulbapedia. I was like, okay, I guess there's no encounters. Well, well I guess we'll find out. Oh, <laughs> oh, only one way to find out. Well, no, it won't. It won't be relevant. We'll make sure of that. But I was just like. Uh, okay. Guess we won't find out. Dang it, head Bob. We could have. We could have learned something today for science. <laughs> I think you repelled too early. That'll be fine. No problem. Yeah, I think you have to go mud still here, yeah. But we will find out. <laughs> Perhaps. Okay, one for one anecdotal, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, conclusive proof. Yeah, the repel routing got completely changed since uh, my bell type rerouting. Because I think we still use super repels for a while here. How long ago was that? I can actually tell you the exact date once it's go. Oh, <laughs> proceeds. Um, well, actually, it's scroll. That was on 19th February 2021. Oh, that's actually not that long ago. Oh, it's nearly three years at this point. I swear, I, I guess I wasn't even running the game at that point. But I feel like I, I don't remember this happening at all while I was running the game. Yeah, the, the, that, that helped a lot for consistency in some places have more healing items in general because you'd it's what isn't unfrequent that you'd for example run out of like super potions yeah okay so this is a battle that technically you should do later um but it is a mandatory battle it doesn't take that much time to, in, to go out of your way and it helps for two things uh, it gives you more defense EVs for Mimic you. Um, I think it even gives you an extra level, but I'm not sure about that. But then it also gives you an extra level for for the Plumeria battle later. Um, so you can take more damage, but that's not the big thing. It's uh, just more likely to kill the go battle with Psychic later. Yeah, still pretty dang unlikely. With a uh, with lower special attack, but you never know. Again, funny how this is like the special attack that I'm on is I'm pretty sure it's 22 IB, and that's still considered low for this run. This is like a lot of ranges that you're teetering on. Yeah, <laughs> in your case, if you have 22, it's like it improves the range from 2 and 16 to 4. And Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Now here we hope for... Oh, nice! Got Thunder Punch. Okay. Nice, that is good because now we can one-shot the Drowsy. Well. 11 and 16 nice. range. <laughs> yeah, you often see light screen there, uh, which cuts the pa which cuts the damage of your Sparkling Aria. So <laughs> yeah, real nice to get knocked into Torrent from Thunder Punch. And not get paralyzed. The Christmas. Yep, that too. <laughs> <laughs> So 
some people like getting paralyzed for the next trial because it reduces your chances of getting hyp hypnosis to zero, but like, um, I don't know. It really doesn't work out well very often. It's a lot nicer to get poisoned. That's a lot nicer. But... Yeah, I mean, it's more just a thing like if you get paralyzed well, you, you, you're like, well, at least I won't get put to sleep. It's kind of, that, yeah, that's like... Yeah, it's your copium. It's, it's like, a, yeah, a bit of a, <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. Yeah, I, I, I think I heal paralysis here most of the time anyway, and then hope to get poisoned by this Rosie, because that is objectively better than being paralyzed. Alert is a psychic. Oh yeah, I guess it's like, works like that, I guess. Yeah, I think it just picks it at random if they're the same power. So this head pop gonna go for the 11 and... Wait, what was your attack? Uh... 15 and 16. Neutral. Surely go for that. I don't know what the range is, I don't even have it. <laughs> it's, pro and it's probably like 14 <laughs> and 16, 15 and 16. And it's only 1 and 4 to kill you if you give it a turn. Wait, but I might be faster. It's like, I'm probably, I'm at least speed tied. It's 13 and 16. Huh. And what is your speed IV again? I don't even know. It's 16 to 18. You're not faster? Oh, wait. But the EVs, wait, though. Oh, wait. Your speed high. No, maybe not. Because I could be you faster. Extras. There's a chance you're faster. But Aquajet is cooler if it one hits. Yeah, it's 13 and 16. I would, I'd go for that. It's better than that 50-50 that you speed on. <laughs> 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 Watch him die because... Nah, really come unique. on. <laughs> <talking about it. laughs> this is a very unique trial because I'm actually going to be using my motion controls in a second here. Gastly's pretty much always in the same spot, so it's like pretty free to take a picture of. But Gengar is completely random, and Haunter is only slightly random. Yeah, Gengar. Gengar's bad. <laughs> Gengar can be like behind you, it can be to your side, it can be completely off screen. There we go. There you go, beautiful. Easy. And now you have to heal anyway. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, you got a one hit from full with Aquajet on a Pokemon that wasn't even weak to it. So it was worth it. So true. Yeah, so before the reroute here, we'd have a bunch of energy routes, but now we don't have many. But there's a shop much earlier, so we can buy more max potions. I disagree with that first one. <laughs> the other ones were pretty bad head bobs. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so this one has, what, Lick, Hypnosis, Nightshade, and Nightshade is a big reason we healed here, because it's level 30 and we have only 20 HP. There's a reason I don't play FPS games. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah, not worth healing the, the sleep, really, because... You skip it to sleep again. A, yeah, it's a yep. wild Pokemon, so it can... It gets two chances to hit you with hypnosis. It just feels so great because when you like heal you heal your sleep and it puts you to sleep the same turn. That's just like a great feeling. Yeah, it's amazing. Especially since it's not even fully accurate. Yeah. Alright, and this can take up to like a minute to show up. Uh, oh, oh, come oh. On. oh now it now it's away. Yeah, so Hebo. Oh, wow. What? How wow. did you get that, huh? Well, you... Okay. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, at that point, what I normally do is, like, stay in the middle and then try and react if Gengar just comes to the middle. Um, oh, really? No, like, I go left and right. Like, all of that. I mean, 
you can do that, but then if it just like sh- it, it feels kind of bad if it just shows up on the other side when you're on the other side and there's nothing oh. to do about it. Yeah, what I do is like I double up on on the speed with the, like I do use my circle pad and the motion control, and it's like really really fast when you do that. All right, surely you saved this time. Wow, I'm imp- impressed. Pokemon Snap World Record, that's right. Alright, this is nice when you get it. No! Wait, this is bad actually. Circle How pad, circle pad, circle pad, circle pad. How did this happen? <laughs> I don't know how this happened. Uh, I always, I, I have like my flick and the circle pad, and it's just always perfect, except when it's not. Yeah, so the thing is that that one you start backwards, so like. If you don't make it to where you think you're gonna go, like reorientating it is like completely wonky because it's like everything's backwards. Yeah. So like. Yeah, you have to turn your console 180 degrees. That's not a great start. Okay, just remember the damage. It's like 77. Uh, 72. 37. 72. 72. 37. Yeah, 37, 37 damage. 37, that's what I want to say. Okay, now here hypnosis or leg, both not great. Okay. Alright, perfect. perfect. Alright, okay, good nice. stuff. That's, that's what we nice like to HP see. as well. <laughs> is it what I think it is? Of it course. Is. <laughs> ah, that's not great amount of X specials head, Bob. Ah, you go. Oh, nice. Uh. Yeah. So in that in that in that we 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 could have gotten the gotten the KO without doing the Z move here because we were not doing the torrent. But like, if player had missed, then it would have been very bad. So taking it safe there. Having only one special yeah, tactics not... here is fine actually because you can just skip it on a double battle and you don't because you don't need it because you have both rain up for that section. Oh, it's not guaranteed to kill the drowsy. It's good enough. And, it's more uh, important to have the next specials in slot slot one, for sure. In that fight, yeah, like sparkling area, really nice for that fight. We can break disguise and KO the the partner at the same time. Yep. Yeah, and who didn't waste their Z move on their first playthrough on that? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I did it in the PSR marathon, and, and, then, and then you were like shell shocked a bit that I went for that. It was uh, fun times. Yeah, the next couple fights, well, after Plumeria, I guess, but like the next couple fights after that are all in rain. So we actually get quite a bit of one shots on things that we definitely would not be doing otherwise. They just give yeah. you free rain in this game as well. Like, <laughs> they should give you free sun for any incineral battles, do they? Just you know, more, more, more gifts for Pre Marina. Use Litten in Pokemon Sword. In Sable yeah, and Pokemon Moon. Sure. Yeah, they give you. They keep. They they, they they make sure you have to play through Sun in Pokemon Sword and Shield, and you still use the Water Starter. So, <laughs> wasn't enough. All right. So this is where we go to the Pokemon Center, <laughs> 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 and with Raw Picky Pack, our second battler. Did I actually remind you of that? No, I I knew I had to go. I just like. <laughs> wasn't sure like what I was actually doing. All right, so here we're gonna sell the uh, items. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Here, yep. Since we get so many free balls, uh, we sell them all, uh, and they give you a lot of money actually. I oh, yeah, and the comet chart as well. Uh, whatever, it's fine. Okay. And that pick pack is required for a double double battle later. Um because it doesn't let you enter a double battle without having a second Pokemon alive in your party. 
Yep. Yeah, I mean, you would absolutely just solo with Free Marina if you could, but uh, they just, you know, they want to give you a proper chance, you know? Mm. Like, one Pokemon against two? That's never happened in this game. Like, you know, we can't let you do that. <laughs> this is... right, so there's a safe strat here and, uh, and a not so safe strat. The safe strat is not very safe. Regardless, but it's to Z move directly here. I'm just gonna do it. Boo! <laughs> but but you got you. There you go. Okay, now you got another chance to do the right thing, Head Bob. Psychic. I mean, no. here from here, it's really important to Z move. Unbelievable. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay. I still can die. Yeah. Hey, you can still die. It's not that likely. Look, the poison would have taken you into Tora, and then Aquajet would have appeared. Yeah. Well, okay anyway, I guess, but you still... Yeah. Psychic is a, is a, is like a twenty five percent range. Is what I said. Yeah, twenty five percent. Yep. Yeah. So it does here. This uh, thing does not Thank have a hard. poison move, so it's so it's fine. <laughs> it went for it, huh? <laughs> it's right. Crit, and then you were still confused. It is only a one in three chance to hit yourself in confusion in this game. It was a change they made here, which was. Uh, which does mean that we can we can kind of justify risk risking um, justify the risk of trying to hit through confusion in a lot of cases, and it we were able to get through that one, so it's it's fine. Okay, now it's going to be one of that I consider the hardest movement of the game. I don't know if Hype Up is going to go for it. No. I'm 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 not uh, practiced right now, so I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, you would just like there's a cycle coming up in the in the water, um, where you can like go past the guy like right away if you're fast enough and you like hug edges enough, um, instead of having to wait for him to turn around. Yeah, and um, it's just. Typically, one of those cycle based movements that you have to be able to nail perfectly if you want to save that time. And it's one of the longer cycles to wait for, sadly. If you do it this, like the. Did I max repel? I don't know if you did. I, I, I'm getting a feeling I, I did, but I don't know. Well, there's only one way to find out, right? Well. You didn't. Wow, okay. Easy. I have a nice menu set up there, so I always remember that I didn't. Because when I, I, I don't know, when I equip the Mystic Water, the Max Opel, like, goes from not being reachable to reachable. And so I, I, like, it's just a nice mechanic. So I always know to repel after that. Yeah, so that, that train away, you saw had Bob wait, so like, you could, if you. If you miss time that a little bit, you can uh, if you like try and force your way past him. He can't just turn and hit you, so just taking it, it is, taking it easy there. Yeah, it's much safer to do it this way. And it is slightly faster to go around all of this than fight a trainer that is guarding the area we go to. Because I believe, she, I think she only has a Rattata. I think he only has one Pokemon, yeah. And, uh, but but yeah. it ends up being slightly faster to go around. Here's that double battle. In the rain, because why not? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Toe Town is supposed to be. I don't know. I feel like Pokemon represents Nanu's like demeanor perfectly. <laughs> oh no! Oh, picky pack. Unlucky. But yeah, no. This is very unlucky with your special. I'm pretty sure. Oh no. And and due to experience scaling you get 
slightly less experience from this browser. <laughs> <laughs> Surely it'll matter somewhere. Yeah, just imagine. You can guarantee that by using an X special on Picky Peck's turn. But, uh. You only have I mean, one. It's obviously fast. There you go. It only has one, so. Can't really afford to do that. If you use your last yeah, X special, I... when you buy more X specials after this next section, we are going. It would be moved to the bottom. So that would. Oh, I see. Mess with a lot of things. Wait, but you need one for Guzma. Do you? Isn't it Psychic Psychic? Oh, it's Psychic X Special no. Psychic. Okay, well, in that case, I had to do it yeah. anyways. Ideally, you have three X Special attacks before this double battle. Yeah, I had to use an extra one on Lorantis, which I don't usually do. Yeah, and one on um, Drowsy, and to do a high experience, which costs three X special, uh, extra X Specials. Well, you make one back up on, on Gladion, but... Yeah, but uh, I can't for that. You still use one more. I see. So, yeah. We used that's a lot. That's why you see me... Yeah, that's why you see, usually see me pick up an extra X special somewhere. Um, just to, to be able to keep that X special in slot one. It'll be okay. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if it's faster, but I just prefer... Not using my brain as much because it's pretty deficient. So true. <laughs> I think when I was running this game, I I think I always X special attacked in that in that fight because I still had the Waterium Zeon because mm -hmm. situationally yep. it was situationally it was it could it it was better for Guzma too if I if it meant I could skip a menu. Yeah, I I just found that in general I just do not. Do math fast enough for that, <laughs> <laughs> so I just always go for like the 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 psychic strat. Yeah, like in this situation, for example, if I this would be the kind of HP I think where I would uh, just not heal and go for the Z move strat if I if I had the Z crystal on. Yeah, I didn't see his health. He was at ninety. No, I think it's well. even. I think you it's can even die fun. at this health, but I think you can die at this health. But uh, it, it would like dep it, it depends on what it depends on what Gusper decides to do. It would have uh, the, that uh, it, it might have to be like razor shell defense drops. You know, that might that might have to be a thing for it to do that much damage. I forget. It's been a while yeah, since I played. He is quite likely here to have him to heal on uh, Ariados. Alright, um, I'm actually gonna have us take a break um, before this fight. If that's oh, okay. Oh, the suspense. <laughs> <laughs> well, There's also not. an escape rope right out there that All he right. doesn't pick up because he is faster to have just bought it in the shop we'll where stop. he was earlier. Okay, well I guess we'll just... Alright, three, two, one, stop. Okay, cool. Uh, as I've said, we're going to take one more break here. Uh, be back in just a few minutes with the rest of this Pokemon Moon speedrun. Don't go anywhere. Hello and welcome back everybody to the GDQ Hotfix. We are in the middle of a Pokemon Moon any percent speedrun. We're about to face Big Bad Guzman. And before we get back into the run, I just want to remind everyone that if you're enjoying this run at all, Definitely recommend following HeadBob underscore on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash HeadBob underscore. Also follow WarTab and Garfield the Lightning, wonderful Pokemon speedrunners as well. Uh, their Twitches are both just their names. So easy to find. And uh, if you are watching live on Twitch right now, you can also just hover over HeadBob's name under uh, the stream, like on the title. And you just click the little heart and then you're following. Wow, so easy. Um, go ahead and uh, get us back into the run, HeadBob. All right, I left you guys all on a cliffhanger. What is Big Bad Guzma going to do to us? <laughs> Um, we're about to find out, so let's uh, let's get into it in three, two, one, go. So yeah, this fight's like pretty similar to the last one. Unfortunately, nothing like crazy happening here too. But we're basically just gonna turn one psychic and then set up to turn two, so we dodge the emergency exit, um, proc, and make him like switch out or whatever. 
so instead we're just um the fight the fight's a lot faster if we just like three shot him and then we one shot the Arridos afterwards. Yeah, I hope we don't get a lot of crazy razor shell defense drops or anything like that. Razor shell is fifty percent to defend to uh, defense drop. So we'll keep an eye on things. That should be good. So we're, okay. so we're gonna have to heal. Because Aridus Didn't will always that. use Shadow Sneak. Didn't get that rare Sucker Punch. <laughs> Does it even have Sucker Punch in it? I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this fight, Guzma 2 versus Guzma 1, I don't think there's any um, EBs on the Glissopod in Guzma 1, but there is in Guzma 2. Um, so, Razor uh, Shell does a decent amount of more damage. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah that's correct. You get you, There has no attack EBs on Guzma 1, but in Guzma 2 it has 252 attack EBs. He did a lot of training in that short amount of time since he fought, <laughs> in, the, fought, fought in the first time. Right. I did not know that. Just another another one oh, of those well. Pokemon things. Okay, so yeah, we we choose our candies, we escape rope out. Um we don't actually need the repels for a little while. Um we're just keeping them off just because um it's like slightly faster, and we have the repulse to do it by buying 11 um, to keep it up through the Aether Paradise, which is where we're about to go after a couple fights. Um, but if you if you ever were short on Max Repulse for whatever reason, you can just drop it there and then renew it before you actually need it when entering Pony Wilds. So we just we just left and we're about to go back to Howley City and we're gonna buy a bunch of X items for the rest of the game. And also not forget to deposit Picky Pick. That's a good idea, yeah. I agree. Yep. That's definitely something that I uh, <laughs> I, rem I remember forgetting to do that a few times doing these runs. It's easy to forget. You can do it later, but it it saves time to do it here. You will it will become obvious why pretty shortly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um We're basically just gonna buy a bunch of special attacks and speeds, because that's really all we need from here. We have one X defend, which is all we need. Um We're gonna deposit Picky Pack, that'd be a, a fast thing to do. Um, Never need it again. That's right. And literally, the only fight you need it for is that one double battle. Alright, so we're going to go back to the Aether House, which we've gone to a couple times at this point. Um, another thing that we can do while having the repel up, again, pretty uh, negligible, but like, um, you, you may have seen me bike or uh, use Tauros around this grass patch. We could just go through it because we have the repel up. Saves a little bit of time. And then we're gonna go into the house and battle Gladion. Another hard fought battle. I wonder, I wonder if you guys know what Gladion has here, because it's a very important battle in, in, in the Pokemon game. I uh, I know what he leads with. <laughs> I know he probably still has his type not. <laughs> so true. I think it, it's what, like Golbat, Sneasel type and all, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. But we won't get to see that, because we are going to be... Um, 
giving him the crushing order. his spirit before he even sends out the rest of his two Pokemon. <laughs> That's right, the battle's already over before I even began. Exactly. But yeah, we're just gonna be uh, dying here, which is why we deposit Vicky back early. Sorry to spoil the surprise. <laughs> I think you can get Acrobatics or Poison Fang here, but... Um, poison Fang. It's also funny how... For this specific battle... Game Freak somehow thought it was really necessary to be consistent because the Zubat, the Golbat, and the Crobat later on always had the same IVs. <laughs> As if some normal player would notice. I feel like it's almost I pretty that I feel like pretty good at doing that in newer games, I think. I feel in general. I feel like the alternative's almost weirder. In Gen 6 that's almost never the case. that will always be like a different <laughs> nature every time you yeah. fight someone. <laughs> Which obviously that would that would never happen. But yeah, my favorite is uh, Lysandre's uh, line. What is it called? The Gyarados. Pyro. Oh, Pyro. Yeah, Pyro. No, the Pyro doesn't even change abilities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Gyarados yeah, goes like from in, in, it... minus defense to neutral to plus defense over the three times you fight Gyarados. You have like a, you have. Uh, br you have your rival in uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire go from 24 IVs to 0 IVs back to, 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 <laughs> back to uh, yeah it's just like goes back and forth that's probably the worst configuration for x items <laughs> in the <laughs> you know. x specials in the middle of nowhere They have home now, and it's probably better to use X speeds first. Yeah, probably. Because we have the, roughly the same amount of X specials and X speeds, and because from now on it really matters that we outspeed things. And Prima Arena isn't exactly a fast Pokemon, 60 base speed. Yeah, very rare in any fight where you'd have to like use two X speeds, but it's necessary here to outspeed that Alolan Persian, and it does. They do give us time to do it with the, with that fake out. It actually is pretty close. If we had maybe a couple more IVs, we'd be able to skip that. <clears throat> yeah, this is just another case where plus speed would EVs. Uh, plus 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 speed with really good a speed IV would let you skip a turn of setup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't talk about it, but the best battle for that is against Total Mimikyu because with 26 or more IV speed, the positive speed, you can outspeed the Haunter, and then the Hypnosis or Lick doesn't matter at all. Yeah, that Haunter is definitely the worst part of the fight, for sure. Being put to sleep can really drag out that fight. But definitely the best speed to have is 31, because then you outspeed the Lick it. <laughs> And Faba's Hypno coming up. True. Be really annoying. Okay, I'm like... Precure, so I'm definitely getting an optional here. It's all good. It's fine. Just make sure you wait for the head turn and you'll be alright. But didn't you use Repel? I don't know how... Where the Repel text appears when you Repel there. That's a good point. Well, I guess we'll... Because we'll I, know, I know Ringo repels where you repelled, and he gets the repel text in the middle of here. I oh, didn't say that. That was a bit early. Here. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but that, that, repel, that repel text coming up where it did prob might have actually saved you from being hit, because I feel like you went a little early on the head turn. So that probably actually was, was fine. With that repel text where it was. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's, it's it's fairly tight there because like if you go a bit early, then one of the trainers doesn't turn around. Like you 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 get into their line of sight before they turn around, and yeah, you just gotta. The, there are visual keys you can use to help out with that, and there is like a safer ending to that movement as well, where you like uh, go underneath the last trainer, 
because uh, the the yeah, there was it, the trailer was kind of off screen when Head Bob cut that corner, but it is fairly tight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But and you really need that red candy later on for Lunara. It just works so so much better. Because from here, I don't think you use rare candies on Primarina anymore. Correct. Yep, this is the only one we have now. And we're running out of battles to use a Primarina. Definitely not many left. That's really good. Ooh, nice. Snow Disable here would be perfect. Oh, God. Okay, easy. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so the reason we XP here is because uh, we don't want to get hypnosis uh, looped. We yeah, need to become and, faster. And like, and, and like, uh, and you, and you, you just, you don't want to just stay asleep either because he can like, he can do a lot of damage to you when you're asleep. Nightmare takes off a flat twenty five percent of your HP every turn, for example. Yes, yeah, psychic as well. Not that we saw it in that fight. Well, you just taught me something, Garf. I what? did not know that it's 25%. I thought it it was just a very strong psychic move. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's 25% of your max HP every turn. What, Nightmare? Yep. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I thought it's a really powerful move because in Ultra Moon, with Halucha, <laughs> it almost always goes for Nightmare when you sleep. Hmm. Did it, did it do roughly 25% of your max HP, uh, like that kind of damage? No, because it, it should go for Psychic all the time. Yeah, know? fair enough. But it never does. Oh, weird. Well, that's something else for my... for my Pokemon knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> so there's three fights all in a row here, they're all... Employees of either foundation, which um, you know, there's like no really point in between to heal, so can be scary if you don't handle this correctly. Um, generally, it's fine though. This this can be arranged without Mystic Water, but it's guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. those battles are not nearly as scary as an Ultra Moon. <laughs> yeah, because in Ultra Moon, that thing has gunk shot, and trust me. Primarina cannot live that. <laughs> also, much higher level. And this fight can be kind of annoying as well if you're not faster. I mean, if you if you're not faster, it's like fine anyways. You just have to know that you're not faster. You just, yeah, it just changes your order in which you yeah. use these two moves because this thing has sturdy, and if you can avoid the sturdy text, then you, then you know it's 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 faster to do that. So you just broke the sturdy with Aqua Jet there. Uh, if you if you get it to one HP, like the text box will come up. So you can skip that by hitting it with a weak move first. The Porygon 2 is not all that dangerous. Typically, I think it's like Magnet Rise or like Signal Beam or something. Yeah. The Ultra Moon has Discharge. <laughs> <laughs> In Torrent, this would also be very likely to die. So one strat Headbob could have done is use Encore and um, Blash Cannon there on the previous battle. And uh, then he would have had Torn for this and especially the next double battle. But I, I don't think Torrent was guaranteed on... Uh, Uh, the Porygon. That shrug cracks me up every time. They got rid of it in Ultra. I'm honest, honestly the change I'm maddest about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Now, how yelling at a book bookcase. It's a very nice animation. We have not seen it ever before in any other <laughs> rivals. So yeah, because, like what I mentioned, because I don't have Torrent, I'm gonna be just psychicking instead. And just two turning the fight instead of one, unfortunately. Yeah, I wish there was something better to do here, but can't really do anything. Acid armor. I've never seen that before. <laughs> So we're getting up to the, uh, the, uh, the time, the funny time. Um, so we just faced a double battle, and obviously, like, double battles kind of laggy sometimes. If we were on old 3DS, it would have been way more laggy. But what you may not know is that these battles and these, and, and Aether Foundation specifically, are so laggy that if you use an item right away, um, in, like, in the fight, then it can sometimes just like crash your game. Um, definitely more relevant in old 3DS, although we theorize it probably happens consistently in new 3DS as well. So um, to counteract this, when we ever, whenever we're forced to use a, a healing item or a, a setup item or something in any of these double battles, we will be counting before we enter the bag to make sure that we don't crash the game. And yes, <laughs> yes, I am serious. <laughs> yep, it is. Yeah, I mean, I can't speak for new 3DS, but in old 3DS, it it always crashes in 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 in, in that spot if you use an item too quickly. Just just hard locks the game. Like the music still plays, but that's but you can't progress. Yeah, it even crashes on emulator. It's uh, awful. <laughs> it's so late into the game, it's three and a half hours, and then you have the game crash on you. It's just wonderful. Yeah. So luckily there's only one fight that we consistently use an item on, and that's the last one of these double battles. But if you were hit too low and you had to heal, um, you would have to do this. Is the game can crash in any of these battles? Technically we don't know if it does happen only here. Because we never use an item turn one on another double battle. I guess we do on the range with battle. Pack. Yeah. yeah, but it's like not your first Pokemon. I guess yeah, we don't know what we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> it's also not something. It's also not really something you want to find out. Exactly. Yeah, way. that's kind of why it's like a little bit unknown because no one really wants to lose a run for that. Ah, <laughs> oh, the psychic is not great. That yeah, we have Ra Raichu as our partner. We kind of touched on it a little bit before because of like the weird variable electric ball power based on speed interactions it just often favors using psychic instead even on things that resist it which we might which we may well see later on if you pick the grass starter for some reason it has thunderbolt instead of electro ball Wait, really which would be which which would be really nice <laughs> i had but, no um, idea yeah it's <laughs> and it because it, because it, it just it's it's way better at using thunderbolt um but yeah, unfortunately, we're stuck with electric electro ball in this route. <laughs> I mean, technically, it is better if you use a psychic on the Pelipper than electro ball, because um, you only get one level up burst instead of two when you kill both at once. But you, the one thing you don't want to see is what Headbox just got is like psychic on the monster, because <laughs> that triggers the ability and it causes that battle to become a guaranteed two turn. Yeah, not great. Are we saving here or? Nah, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this might can be a little bit annoying, just because like you can get light screen from one of the pokes, and then you can get confused by one of the pokes. Um. Yeah, but it'll be fine. Generally, you get some help from your Pokemon on the, on the you're, you're fighting with. I don't even know whose it is. How Gladion, one of them. 
Yeah, these battles are generally quite uneventful in regular mode, but in ultra mode, this is where the fun really starts. Yeah. With Lucha. Yep. Yep. Just can you hit high jump kick on <laughs> on this fight? Yeah, this is ultra mode. Really no brainer, whether to save or not. <laughs> this fight is not good. And not get static on top of that. Yeah. Light screen. Okay. Yeah, this is where if Gobat gets uh, um, flame bodied, you it will get healed from its burn. Ah, come on. Well, that's no. not good. I mean, surely Type Null can finish from here, even if I don't hit through. Polypara into Crush Claw Miss. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, almost came to pass. So there's and Moonblast. Aqua, you think, Aqua Jet, you immediately teach over it. It's bad. But Moonblast is just. Now our move pool is complete. Moonblast, Sparkling Aria, Psychic and Onko. Alright, so this play. Um, again, we're going to be setting up, um, and oftentimes we're going to be relying on our partner quite a bit. Um, Incineroar does really good damage against a lot of the folks in this fight. Um, uh, hopefully we don't get to put to sleep. Hopefully Incineroar doesn't get put to sleep. Um, we'll just slow down the fight a little bit if that happens. Yeah, just don't slow the fight down too much, head <laughs> Right, the Mississippis. Yeah, so we go. Go. count the Mississippis. Well, let's do it together. One Mississippi. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Two Mississippi, two Mississippi, Mississippi three, three Mississippi. Mississippi four Mississippi. Mississippi. Okay, we kind of uh, diverged a bit there, but that was. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. He I actually electro never... slow, bro. What <laughs> the have... heck? I have literally never seen that in my life. <laughs> Yeah, he frequently he just psychics the flow bro instead, but um I th I'm not even sure what's the best thing. Here. I think in Moon Moonblast? No, because it doesn't die. Wait, does it? No. I think Moonblast is better. Okay, than that's good. I think it should be good from here. Yeah. Since it's in a rose out against yeah. Yeah, so that slow bro dying turn one is very good because it cannot put you to sleep. <laughs> wow. I think you can die to Psychic here though, so... I think you not die. really need... Not really need to uh, risk this, so yeah, because Incineroar can just take it out. Yeah. Oh, we got Reflect out, I forgot. <laughs> Damn. That usually does not happen. Aye, that was still much faster than whatever you can get, usually. <laughs> Usually you end up having to X speed and then have, then having to heal sleep. It's not great. Yeah, and if you end up like, if you if 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 you end up KOing like several things at once, you can your rival can send out Leafyard instead of Incineroar, which is just worse for the other t other two Pokemon. So. Yeah, Elect nice, it Elect nice, nice that it went down like that. Electro Ball and Slowbro, Slowbro is like genuinely like so rare. I, I don't think I've ever seen that from anyone. Okay, no, good old no. marathon luck. Yeah. <laughs> also, no, uh, we thought that it's Legion's wings being high, high polygons or something, but it's not that actually because it can crash on any other double battle. Yep. Yes. And we're going to be faster than this gold out, which is nice. Nice. Very good. All these speed EVs helping a little bit. Let's still have to Moonblast eradicate such. Oh no, not my super effective text. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, you. Wait. I'm not sure. Are you supposed to be that lucky? Yeah, you are. Never mind. Ignore me. 130. I mean, I'll check it. 133. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, there's a lot of just like little things like that where you just like you like to try and save super effective text if you want to, but like it does not save that much time. It's kind of just a a whatever thing. We're gonna be going into Guzma at full HP here, so we don't have to heal, which is nice. Uh, so that's, that's an interesting point about that. Uh, my, I was kind of, I was, I was looking at like my, I was kind of looking at my notes and also WhatsApp's notes for this game just to like refresh myself a bit on on this before the commentary. And I found it, I found it really funny that heal my notes board, said don't. don't the, the, yeah, my, my notes said don't heal after that fight, and WhatsApp's don't say heal the full. <laughs> this is very funny to me that we got like two completely opposite instructions there. My, note, my, my notes say heal the full or don't. Okay. <laughs> Good average. I just had too much, too many bad experiences with not healing there. <laughs> yeah. I think you say like heal to full if poison or something. I forgot something. Because you can't be poisoned from know. combat. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, if you poisoned it, it would make sense, yeah. For sure. But yeah, now that we have Moonblast, we don't have to mess around with, like, damaging it a bit with Psychic and then setting up, because Moonblast is a much stronger move. I don't even think Psychic plus, plus two Psychic would kill. I doubt it, yeah. Yeah, maybe not. Um, yeah, a lot of these pokes have EVs now, so like, end up like ma like Masquerade is like incredibly fast, for example. So like, even if you had a good speed mon, it would still take a little bit to outspeed it. But I mean, I, I think generally like bulky mid-ish speed mons do really well in this game. Because as long as you can outspeed with 1xp and you're not losing a whole lot of time. Yeah, I mean, even with a fast Pokemon, because of all the EVs that get, that, exactly, that get added yeah. to trains in this game, you're, you're not going to be out. You're not going to be outspeeding everything by any means. Exactly. Even in Alola. <laughs> I know, in Alola, the notoriously <laughs> generally low speed region, but uh, you know, those EVs make a difference. I still love that Rel Relicanth is Olivia's fastest poke because of EVs. It's I was I was that I was just thinking that, yeah, just just insane. I know Rock's not a very fast type, but it's faster than like literally rock, really. like rock on the team, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like. So this is a seven minute long split, so from Guzma 3 to the next fight, it's seven minutes-ish. Um, and it's mostly entirely cutscenes. There's gonna be a lot of different cutscenes before we actually get to enter the fight. Yeah, in general, the, this next section is not... It's, it's gonna take a while. <clears throat> yeah. The, the notes for the battles are like... Two rows. Or 20 minutes of content. Yeah. Yeah, big oh. build-up for an important fight. It's frozen. <laughs> Unlucky. Unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> so many 10%s, crazy. <laughs> Maybe Lucimi discovered the, the hidden move that is a status move that freezes your opponent. Oh, that <laughs> forbidden knowledge. <laughs> This battle is also this next battle is big on RNG. Yeah, there's definitely there's yeah, definitely one of the fights where you like want it to have AI and it just doesn't. Um, because even if you like kill the Pokemon uh, 
that comes out first. You get Lilligant, which has Petal Dance, which still is not guaranteed to use it because it is fully random. <laughs> so it's just like, you're just kind of praying. There's like a lot of variance in this next fight. We do have potential for metronome shenanigans in the next fight, so you know, any any guesses in chat as to what fun moves we'll see from metronome? I think the last run I did, I forget I forget what main I was using, but I got like some really powerful move that missed. It was like I don't know. Oh, you know what it was? It was um Bolt Strike. Oh yeah. Bolt Strike miss on Azumarill. Yeah, that would <laughs> that would have done a fair bit. On the uh, on the the one that mattered, the uh, the second mm -hmm. Lucy fight. Yeah, yeah. I had spatial rent rent ones, and yeah, that obviously didn't do much. But it would have been nice damage. <laughs> Destiny bond. Do I like that one? <laughs> you just kill it. You just well. You... That'd be good. Yeah, that would be pretty nice. <laughs> that wouldn't be very fast, though, right? I don't think you could reliably kill it the next turn. So like, yeah, yeah. it's pretty bulky. One day, someone will get thunder. I like um. Power whip. Let's get that. That's physical. Yeah. I think that would do more. Green Marine has got better spe better special defense, right? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but Cliff Favor, is that a good physical attacker? It's, it's it's similar. It's fairly it's fairly similar. It's got slightly more special attack, but uh I don't yeah, think that's a big difference. Can I stand corrected? Oh yeah, it's 70 versus 85, okay, I... I no, wait. 95? 95 yeah. and Jensen. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I, I, I guess I could see it go either way then. Both are good. Case in point. Just... I know, I was about to say Grass Knot, but no. I don't think Primarina is heavy. Primarina... Notoriously heavy Pokemon. We just like switch it up for a Swampert for one battle. <laughs> Oh yeah, Swampert. Would also be a very good pick for uh, Lorantis, honestly. Yeah, I would do great against Lorantis. I think overall, if you had to pick like one starter for every generation, I think Swampert would still be the best. For Oras? Yeah, for like, if you had one, if you had to do Gen 1 to, to 9, would one starter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, probably Swampert. I don't know, Free Marina's build is like really good, I don't know. Like, I have a way to think about because like, you know, obviously Fairy didn't exist in Gen 1. Yeah. So, I don't know. I love the intro to this theme, it's so nice. It's a great heal stomp as well. <laughs> Ominous wind. Okay. Uh, oh, didn't boost. Didn't boost, unfortunate. Oh, oh yeah, that's uh, yeah. We really wanted a moon blast here, so we can just encore it into that. But it's just not playing ball at the moment. Okay, nice, that's, that's I more like it. Eventually, I'm gonna live that. We can live on one. Let's see it. Close. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean close? That was double what Garf said. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it, this this is this is a weird one for you to lose for you to be able to lose, but uh, but that's the game. I actually lost that uh, in 
my first playthrough. And I, I remember I proudly went to, to Kizaron and said, Dude, you can lose the battle. And he said, and then he, he got angry at me for backseat gaming because he already knew that. <laughs> that was so sad. Back when you were just some random viewer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, as I said, this was my first, my first speedrun that I streamed. Because I remembered that I actually did some meme runs on band emulator in Gen 2 with Cyndaquil. Yeah, um, after this fight, there's going to be, there, there's fights in between, but um, the next major fight is 24 minutes away. And, um... Most of it is cutscenes. There's like a couple movement sections as well, but like genuinely, like more than half of the split is cutscenes for sure. Yeah, the start of Pony Island is, yeah, it, they they really just shift the balance way too far towards cutscenes for a speedrun. Yeah, there's not even like any challenging movement, so it's just really dull. But we get to see Lily power up, so you know. So true. There's that. True. The only I mean, look. I mean, look. She's she's already carrying the bag with the 999.9 <laughs> pound Cosmo M in, in it. So you know, <laughs> she's already going through her training arc right now. The fact that like the Cosmo line is that heavy, I feel like it's like it just like calls into question so many laws of physics. Wouldn't be the first time that Pokemon did that with flipping. Su uh, hotter than the sun, mag cargo, or, or things like that. Also, wasn't like Wayload way too, way too uh, light for? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's like, I, I, yeah. I think it was actually that light. It would just float, it would float up, <laughs> float up to the sky. It technically does float. I think the hardest part about this is uh, not picking the wrong floor. I uh, agree. <laughs> yeah. Definitely... How heavy is Larvitar? I don't even know. Surely over like 100 pounds. Let me check that. Are you sure you have time, Wartap? <laughs> uh, well, if Bulbapedia wants to load... <laughs> 158 pounds. What? 72 kilograms. That's... okay, yeah. That's pretty heavy. I can't believe we didn't ever get the battle Lily and she gets to use her, her Z power in battle. Yeah. To couldn't wreck take our advantage world. of Lily couldn't take advantage of Lilium Z, unfortunately. <laughs> Lilium Z. But she manages to unlock her full potential and unlock her Z power. Incredible. There's one category where you see her battle. Good old rainbow rocket. Rainbow Rocket, you battle with her. I played that category once. I, mean, I shouldn't say category. I did that section once, like as soon as it came out, and I have not touched it a single time since. Pretty fun. The only thing you hope she does is not use light screen. <laughs> Speaking of ultras, before that boat is where you would pick up Toxic if you just went past it and grabbed the TM for that, which would be very, very important for Ultra and Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I still cannot believe that's the best thing we found. <laughs> yep. Especially Toxic is like so much out of your way as well. That's yeah. 
exactly. I mean, it's, it's uh, you, does doesn't it, they kind of tried to make it more like anti cheese because like sturdy doesn't work because because photon geyser breaks through that. And Primarina so, yeah, can like, Primarina can be ultra crossbow, but it's just really slow and just like I don't know. There's like a lot of switching yeah, and PB I mean, selling. It's, 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 it's like it's already got really good. Ultra Cosmos already got really good stats, but then it also boosts them all with its aura as well. Yeah, yeah. But it makes me question the the photon geyser move and its description, because I'm pretty sure it's not how it works on that specific battle. What do you mean? Because it like should. I forgot, it, like, against Prim Arena, it should, well, I forgot, but it doesn't it, like, pick physical or special depending on something? Yeah, I think based on what, which of its attacking stats is higher. Yeah, exactly, but it's, like, always special. Yeah, it's battle. attacking stats, not the defense it hits yeah, it I don't, I, I, don't, I don't think it takes into account your defensive stats, but I, I could be No, but it does, like, it, I think it, isn't it supposed to have random Maybe. stats? I forgot. I don't know, I can't remember yeah, Ultra yeah, Cosmos I don't know. distribution anyway. I think it's supposed to have like three random perfect IVs and it always is special. I remember that because I would always lead X special defense there. And it would always yeah. be better. Yeah, Focus Sash for Ultra Cosmo was, you know, it's, 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 it, it was like... Yeah, I mean, the, the yeah, the only way to get that is to fight a trainer with four Oracorios, all of which are holding a focus sash <laughs> with four Lucha. It's like it's 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 not it's 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 not not a good time. We should teach it double kick. <laughs> Yeah, good luck. Good luck using that on. <laughs> good luck one hit KOing the Oricorios with that. <laughs> yeah, it's just like it's way easier to. There's like a lot of different options that you could pick to like cheese the fight. It's just anything with toxic and just like stalling out enough will will likely do the trick. But just like. If we try to tackle it head on, it's just not going to work. Like the, the next best thing you can do is quick claw toxic, which is awful. Because <laughs> that's only 20% to trigger. And then you have to actually have to hit toxic as well, which is, I think, 90% in this game. Unless you're a poison type, in which case it always hits. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not great. But at least quick claw is like a guaranteed item you can get very early on. Yeah. And some Ultra Moon Roots even get that. Do any Sturdy Mons learn Toxic that you can catch? It doesn't matter because Photon Geyser breaks through really Sturdy anyway. What if you have it take a different move via... I don't know. <laughs> just, just, yeah, just, just get lucky <laughs> for it. Because I think uh, you can, like, get... You can, like, revive a shield on or something, but it just Photon Geyser's even, it doesn't matter. No Wimpod here? No. That section is stupid because they can there's randomly can be like a Wimpod going on that road and it's a l just a little bit slower than you so you have to keep waiting for it to move. And if you run into it, it's a wild battle. That is 22 seconds lost. See, if Lily's been carrying around this cosworm, she should be able to push these boulders, she's, these, these stones just fine. Yeah, I don't know she's why. Back on us. I don't know why her muscles are not more defined. Clearly, she's like been working out. I don't think I could lift 900 pounds. I've never tried, to be fair. Yeah, it's, this is a guess, but.
but it's it's 999 kilograms. So it's oh, <laughs> two, it's 2,200 pounds. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, there you go. You <laughs> Just imagine clinging that. <laughs> It'd do zero damage because of damage overflow. True. And do you know Cosmio's ability? Uh, uh hold on. Don't look it up. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not gonna look it up. I'm not gonna look it up. I mean, it's definitely not easy. pressure. That'd be way too easy. Oh, 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 it's probably something funny like like light metal or or something. No, Garf got dirty. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Which I did not know. Not that you'd ever face a Cosmo in battle. Still banned in VGC though. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I got called out by Master Asian. Wait, why is it banned? <laughs> I, I, run that, run that back. I, why? Uh, they, <laughs> well, I mean, they, the, the, the rule sets are just like blanket, you know, no legendaries for some oh, formats. Okay. Like in other, for, in, in other formats, they have like it where you can only use two legendaries and Cosmog and Cosmog would count towards those. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just a blanket thing because I have to be pre evos of legendaries. Leave the box legendaries. Very upsetting, we cannot use it then. True. So what is what is what is the plot summary right now? What what's what's the horse doing? What's going on? What's the horse doing? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, well, we we were well, we wanted we we want there was there wasn't a there wasn't a Kahuna on Pony Island, okay. so we we've just been there's just just been a ceremony to make uh, Hapu the new Kahuna. Um, can't remember why there has to be a Kahuna on this island. Uh, but there does for some reason. Anyway, um, uh, and we're also we're also trying to we're also trying to get um, we've already got the sun flute. And we're trying to get the moon flute so we can go to the altar and um, what do we do there? We like spawn we're, something. We're like, spawn a portal to rescue. No, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that is right. Yeah. Because, 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 because we saw we saw Lucimune and Guzma go go through go through the portal into Ultra Space, and I think we're trying to find a way to save them. Got it. And the other clue happens to be on Executor Island, so we get to see all these funny executors. This is the best part of the game. Then I'm so excited. That's right. <laughs> and I don't even have to kill ones, we can just like let them be. Yay. In the other game you have to save them. That's right. From evil from evil Pinsu. Oh that game's better then, never mind. <laughs> but it lets you run from the Pinsu anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh never mind. Yeah, it just know. doesn't care that much. <laughs> Palm tree just yell at Ole. I still hate how this is so lazy. <laughs> that was like just a regular palm tree. <laughs> they're, they're lying to us. In Ultimate, they actually have three alone executor running around here, but in this game, it's just a palm tree that they. But I just hate this. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a master of disguise. Goodbye, executor. 
I think in both this game and in Ultra Sun and Moon, you can lose time or save time randomly depending on what abilities it has. What pin? You can have like there's three pincers, then they all can have Mold Breaker, right? And then this one can have Frisk <laughs> or not. I I thought it I thought it always had it's Frisk. It always like, has Frisk. Because like it, yeah. yeah, I think it only has one non one option for a non hidden ability. And the pincer, I think, is like always the same, no? Minor. Has different levels, but I'm pretty sure it's like one doesn't have. I feel like I've definitely gotten mold three breaker. breaker before. Maybe not. not really. Well, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. Maybe one day we'll get to show off Ultra Ruin, but I, I'm not prepared to do it anytime soon. <laughs> Yeah, I will. I will not be here for commentary if uh, that's the case. <laughs> well, okay. I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not going to be here for commentary because right after this run, you're running Ultra Moon. So true. Oh, oh, relay. My dinner. Yes. My dinner. <laughs> Surprise. Garp. Wish. Yes, Garp is running it on old, on old three as well. <laughs> no. Seven hour speed run. Let's go. <laughs> That's if everything goes well. <laughs> Can I just run this 33 minute game I've been running instead? <laughs> <laughs> I just love how you have the freedom of saying no to getting the flute, and then you're stuck in a loop of soft locks. You don't want the flute? Oh, okay, roll credits. <laughs> if I could remove one Pokemon to make the run easier... What, Ultra Moon? Uh, pfft, um... I mean, my, my biggest gripe with it is... is the Ultra Warp, right? Um... Which isn't, which is nothing to do with what Pokemon you get at all. I feel like we're Bombi, right? No, maybe. That's got a cool strat though. When you Roselli Bird is so it. bad. It's 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 cool. Though. It's a cool strat. <laughs> there, there's a uh, there's know. a lot of reasonable to be options. Honest, I, to be honest, I don't I don't remember enough about Ultra Moon, but probably I don't know maybe some things that you would otherwise have to high jump kick. I don't know. No, it's Mimikyu. Oh yeah, Please. Mimikyu's pretty terrible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. They're not, like... There's actually like, so many options, I don't know. But there are, but there's, there's cool strats on that too. Baby Doll Eyes is cool, right? Right, guys? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to set up five x <laughs> I don't, I don't want to hear it. Oh hey, look, we have a battle. <laughs> Did you forget we have Pokemon battles in this game? Here we are. Well, in head Bob, I'm so disappointed. The new psychic, and I, I, I was looking forward to the only thing to talk about this, which is that you can save one frame by using. Bro, the I literally like I saw that in the notes, and I got so mad that I just got rid of the psychic part. <laughs> it's just like whatever, man. Oh, I'll garf. <laughs> Suboptimal. <laughs> I'm, I'm sad. I feel like it's like like you could even argue like I feel like Token Amaru we could fit to that as well. He like died so often to that fight. Yeah, that one's not great either. I mean, from what well, well, from what limited amount I remember. From, from oh, yes, that much speed that you can skip the XP here. Wow, that's right. That is extremely rare. And if you get this range, this is probably the best battle I've ever seen. Oh, okay. Um, Another Vanishock would be perfect here. Okay. Well. Oh no, actually, yes, it would be perfect because then you could start the area the Rat Gate. Oh no, because Haunter outspeeds you. That's yeah. Garbage. That's a, that was overall not bad at all. Nice change in pace of uh, having a battle. Just imagine if they had given you 
the five individual battles. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez, <laughs> yeah. Please no. I, you can even tell Game Freak was too lazy to do that. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm thankful for yeah. it in this, uh, in this sense. I, I think they did a good job in doing that, because like, I think I may just like tear my hair out if they did that. I mean, even though two things outsped Head Bob there, you, you don't really want to set up an X Weed on Solandic because it can just poison you. And then, like, you know, if you set up on Golbat, it can haze you. You know, there's all kinds of annoying things that can happen. I mean, because I was faster than um, Raticate, the only thing I was really losing was Hunter, which is, like, completely harmless for the most part. And then, and then Golbat. Yeah, but Golbat goes for haze most of the time anyway. Yeah. I got a 14 and 16 a month now. Nice. Exciting. But you surely will XP and then use exp X special attack. Why would I X special? That's <laughs> because I love dying, I yeah. No <laughs> I'd take the 80% Sandville instead of the rage. So Headbob, what Headbob is saying is he is a weenie. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this next fight we just really want to see Earthquake. This is a pretty bad fight, definitely one of the, one of the worst ones. Also, interestingly, one of the very first battles of the island, in, it's a Kahuna battle, while in Ultramoon you fight half at the very end. This is true, good point. Which actually matters for like trade experience things because currently your cap is only at level 60 as far as I, I know. So if you are at the end of the island you can actually reach level 60 quite easily if you fight a few extra trainers. I believe the first routes on like Ultimate actually dealt with um, obedience on Except the last Tapu battle. Except Tapu is like way easier in Ultra Ruin so like... I remember, like, for one of the trade races, it could be a problem sometimes. You know, you're just you're just using your traded Pokemon to try and uh, to try and beat the game. One of the trades like a feature where you just randomly trade your Pokemon and get something, and then like, yeah, you can easily just go over the level cap. Let's hope for Earthquake. Okay, unfortunate. He gets two chances at hitting anyway. Here we go. And even if he misses, in that case, it's not that bad if he hits the second one because then he also has, uh, has Torrent for what's there. This one's non negotiable though. I must hit this one. I mean, you will hit this this one. This oh one. my god. You can't. Okay, no, well, wait. Not, you, okay, not the can't. range. Ah, wait, 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 did you reset? He can. He doesn't have to use the earthquake. What? That seems wrong. Yeah, it's, I think, 25% not to go for it. Anyway, we'll just get Earthquake this time. Uh, the Duck Trio has Sand Veil, which is, <laughs> you know, which, 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 which gives it a 20% dance chance to dodge your moves in Sandstorm. So, and if it uses Earthquake, it can just, it, it's just real, really nice, for, it, much nicer for torrent setups, and you don't have to take Sandstorm damage. So, you know, we'll just get Earthquake this time. It's fine. Yeah, it's actually like so much better. Do you, pets do you always get torrent out of it or not? Nah? I can't uh, remember. With Sandstorm, yes. Hmm. Hmm. Man. <laughs> uh, wrong two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm happy that this happens on a run that doesn't ultimately matter. <laughs> I'd be so I agree. sad. Right, so what was the range on this? 14 and 16. 14. <laughs> okay. There we go. Well, for a second that looked like okay. you missed it again. <laughs> Alright, with X speed, this flygon is also not a problem. Without X speed, it is a, can be a bigger problem because of Earth power with a. The twenty percent special defense drop rate.
Dang, it's really twenty percent. That's kind of insane. Okay. I also found out the other day that this thing has recovered. <laughs> don't give it a turn. No, it did. Yeah, don't give it. Don't give it a turn to use it. Yeah. <laughs> Big lesson. Yeah, no storm drain though, so we can. Hit it. We can hit it with Sparkling Aria. Yeah, it's slightly better thanks to Mystic Water than Moonblast. Alright, um, so we'll take a break as soon as I get back control. Which hopefully should be the last break of the uh, the run, considering yeah. finishing around five hours, ideally. <laughs> um, Don't jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> not sure how many more bad things can happen that would lose that much time, <laughs> but we'll just say that it's not possible. Yeah, we got E4 coming up soon. End game, exciting stuff. That's right, some good movement coming up too. Ooh. Yeah, she doesn't have Golurk in this because I think in the anime, the anime came out after this, where she has a Golurk. All right, three, two, one, go. Cool. All right. As I was up, we're gonna do another break here. Uh, just another regularly scheduled break throughout this incredibly long but amazing speed run uh take this opportunity to stretch get some water be back here in a few minutes and we'll get back into the final stretch of this pokemon moon any percent speed run see you in a bit hello and welcome back everybody to the games done quick hotfix we are at the final stretch of this Pokemon Moon Any% speedrun by Headbob. This is it. This is it. It's late four. End game. Final stuff. Uh, Boss fights. Yay. That's right. I'm so excited. Headbob. Let's get to it. Yes, let's finish this out. All right. We're almost done here. Yeah. So, um, all right. Let's, let's jump right back into it. Uh, three, two, one, go. So, yeah. Um, we're about to enter Vast Pony Canyon. I, I don't know if... A stream has been jamming to it for a little while, but um, get to hear a little bit more. There's some movement tech in here that we're going to be doing to dodge some of the optional trainers, which is a little interesting. Um, gonna get on tour before I enter this cave, um, so that we can hit a cycle on a trainer going in. Not before we fight a trainer, though. That's mandatory. But there's another one afterwards that we're going to dodge. You can tell they knew that the Vast Pony Canyon theme was a banger because you you don't interrupt it by getting on Tauros. Oh, you're so right. They do. The Tauros theme definitely gets old after a while, but this one, this one does not. This one is great, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can get paralyzed there by Body Slam, but we won't always use Body Slam. Um, if your Spidef is much worse than your defense, it won't always use it. Um, sometimes you have to heal off the paralysis, sometimes, sometimes you don't. Um, there's the there's the Trainer Dodge, and we dodge those two because we only have one Pokemon. Gonna get a Mudsdale, because there's some some rocks up ahead. <laughs> yep, there is there is a trader right there. You will be seen. That's right! She's activating her Z power. I feel like you're. I feel like you're the one who should be impacted more by crossing a bridge. Like you were the one who almost fell to your death right at the start. Of the yeah, game. you got like PTSD. It's like I don't know. And Lily was like Lily there, just right? It happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Oh dear.
We've upgraded from Spiro to Murkrose. Springs to action, kicks the wall in the head, and just moves on. <laughs> to be fair, this bridge looks does look kind of sketchy. I think I'd be scared too. Yeah. <laughs> be completely fair to Lily. It's not the safest bridge I've ever seen. I like how you just say it was all right. We have to hug the right side here to not hit a dub trio. We just push some boulders around. And there's a couple more optional traders that we have to pass afterwards. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been doing it for a while, so just kind of used to it at this point. I you remember what I did. I don't think I did that, yeah. I think I just pressed Y and A every time. Is it Y? I, I forget. It takes a little bit longer to get an Ultra Rune. <laughs> Just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even show us the dance, which is a shame. Was it really? Wow, I'm actually surprised. We we counting the uh, the Golbat trainer below Mount Ho Hokulani as an, as an option. <laughs> I fought him twice. <laughs> I guess we'd have to fight him twice, yeah. I've never gotten a knee for a special attack drop. It would have been cool to have it in a marathon. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you've definitely done more runs than I have. So I guess in the speedrun, the 30% chance to drop special attack is <laughs> a bit more of a hindrance than a help, huh? Owned. Oh, we just just dodge hydro pump it. Any just dodge hydro pump. He knew. He knew. Very nice. You don't often get to do that. Yeah. 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 I agree. There's a lot of stakes here if you die, so like, yeah. It's, it's a long way back if you die. Oh, that's me. Oops, sorry. Alright. Have we been talking to Ghost War Tab all this time? <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Wait, am I in danger if I'm in Torrent already? I guess you have to you just like you just heal, right? On on Gengar? I do not know. Uh I don't know yeah, if the, the usual the usual strat here is to heal on Stoutland. Well no, you're, you're supposed to have Torrent going into Grand Bull. No, you're not. You're supposed to get hit. I don't know if Grand Bull outspeeds you. 
It does not us it, 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 it shouldn't. It shouldn't us I'll save anyways, but I think... Yeah, I think I'm literally just supposed to sparkling our Ekwaves, and then heal on Gengar. You can do that too, because you are... Are you, are you faster than it? I'm faster than Cloyster. I'm not faster than... You're never faster than Gengar. That's not true. Is it? That is definitely true. Oh, maybe, hold on, I'm, I mean... You have to okay. heal on Gengar. Okay, getting mixed up. Yeah, never mind. No, what was I thinking of then? I was thinking of something else. Yeah, of course you're not fast than Gengar. Gengar I mean, Cloyster, the OSP Cloyster bar is actually quite high. Yeah, it's, um... The thing is, you don't always kill with Psychic on Gengar. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, probably. Oh, that, might, that might be what I'm thinking of, yeah. The range is 12 and 16 here. But surely you get hit into Torrent by a second Shadow Ball? Well... Yes, you will. <laughs> <laughs> you do now, yeah. Went for Psychic anyway, though. Not punished. I totally forgot I was, like, slower, despite healing for a slower Pokemon. <laughs> yes, sometimes just the most simple things with your mind. It's all good, it won't protect. Okay, good try. Okay. No, it actually did, even at that low health, huh? Yeah, Pro protect you means no protect after True! <laughs> sure. Very really? viably Yeah, true. okay. But, all right. We'll see about that. I mean, I wish I wish it was true. I'd stall for protect. <laughs> I'd stall for protect. <laughs> yeah, stall for protect. <laughs> yeah, pr protect on the totem fight is 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 not is very slow. Yeah, you lose like thirty seconds or something. Yeah, losing thirty seconds to just a random protect that's late into the run is not very fun. Yeah. As you can clearly tell, the amount of effort Game Freak put into their games, designing the trials toward the end. <laughs> Have a random canyon with Pokemon jumping at you. I think they said it was like supposed to evoke the feeling of the first trial, which I didn't really, it didn't really feel similar to me. I mean, I guess Pokemon jump out at you. It's but, like, like you don't, you, I don't know. It's like kind of there, but like not really. This fight's a lot more scary in Newsome because uh, there's just there's so many reasons. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not being able to instantly one-shot it is like a, a start. But then also the uh, the secondary Pokemon that it calls in if you do get it a second turn is a lot stronger in Ultra Moon. It's like 10 levels higher. And Kermos and Lisa is also way better in Ultra Moon. Yeah. So just... Uh... Yeah, I mean, it has, yeah. that, has that coverage for you. And it has a Roselli Berry. Um, yeah, Roselli Berry is awful. Not that it, not that a Moonblast w would one-shot anyway, because it's just so much higher level. But it definitely doesn't help. Yeah, hopefully here we just don't get Protect, and we one-shot with Moonblast, and that's the end of it. We're hoping for Sky Uppercut. There we go. There you nice. go. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. The gold split, I think. Let's go. Yeah, nothing really went wrong here. Yep, really good Absol Lapras fight, you know. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess you could, yeah, you'd even skip the Encore. True. Yeah. And the section head, Bob will save like two seconds because he is playing on nighttime. Gets rewarded for taking risks earlier. Mm -hmm. Yep. Skip a line of text, yeah. Is Como actually good? Actually, in in a in a in a recent VGC regional, Como 
was uh, a bit of a star player with an uh, iron defense body press. Yeah, I saw that match. That was quite the quite the thrashing. Yeah, in Gen 7, just because, like, the, the, this was the gen that, like, introduced the Tapus, who were just very strong fairy types. So, Kamo didn't really have much it could do in the yeah. higher echelons. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and Tapus were, like, used all the time. The fact that you can, like, yeah. change your type is, like, actually given so much new life to different Pokemon. Yeah, Terrestrialization's a really cool mechanic, I think. Yeah, this is this is where if you were playing it during the day, Lily would say, "I think we should wait till the moon has risen." Yeah, yeah. and then the cutscene starts as normal. Secretly took fluting lessons. Yeah, I don't know when that happened, but we're we're really good at this somehow. Playing in sync with Lily, who had, we had never met before. <laughs> This part also is a really cool cutscene in Ultra Mode. <laughs> With uh, Lunala fighting Nick Rosma. Maybe I should actually like watch what happens here so that I, I know what happens. So that I can like, explain what's happening. All I know is that uh, Legendary Appears Portal Opens. That's all I got. If we put our Primarina in that beam, would it gain like 30 levels and like be able to sweep the Elite Four? Because <laughs> <laughs> like Cosmo yeah. does evolve by level, right? You know? Just, yeah. Where we get first try Wormhole? Stop, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tucker Lorat. Wow, first try wormholes. Congrats. Oh my gosh. Where do I get Wait, where is the Ultra Macropolis? Ultra Megalopolis, that's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a section where uh, in 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 a marathon run I did a long time ago. <laughs> The music just did not work here. And yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> it. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really get it. You're, it just did. It sounds like your 3DS struggles a lot with this game. That's what I was thinking, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, I, feel, I thought it was an old 3DS thing, but maybe it was just mine. Oh, I thought it did that all the time for you. It did do it all the time. Yeah, I think it did it whenever I like hadn't, reset hadn't the saved and reset, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because I don't, I don't remember it happening to me casually. Although I guess if it did, I probably wouldn't. I might not have noticed because I wouldn't have known there was supposed to be music here. Although it, it, it although like I think after, after one of the cutscenes, it did start to play again. So like you know that might have tipped me off. I don't know. And since you have decided to never run the game again, we'll never know. Yeah, we'll never know. No, my 3DS is like on its last legs anyway at this point. I'll keep it plugged in. I've got to keep it plugged in all the time. My circle pad is like 
out the uh, the outer bit is like worn off, you know. I know that feeling. I just got my replaced. I'm going on five years on this one. Wow. Pretty good. Also, I'm not sure if it's faster to save here or just come back if you die. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go. It's like, it would have to be like some crazy metronome in order to die, realistically. If you heal properly. Yeah, I mean, you you just want to be, you, you really don't want Clefable to go down before you, before you set up a bit. That can cause some problems if that doesn't happen. Yeah, if you get like, final gambit or something. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot who it was. The first run and then the final gambit. No. <laughs> yeah, this fight, like, I, I want to say like around like half, this half the scenarios or something, um, involves encoring cosmic power and dire hitting, which is like kind of quirky. Yeah, dire hit is. It's, it's 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 a strat that's very rarely used in Pokemon speedrunning, but but like just because a cosmic power gives you all those turns, if you encore it, gives you all those turns to set up, and dire hit makes it so that you have to, your crit rate rises to fifty percent to break through those defensive boosts. It just ends up being really nice if you're able to if if you're able to get it to work like that. Yeah, ironically. The two runs where Dire Hit actually gets used are both Gen 7 runs. But that also is probably because we get one, given one for free. I'm not sure if we would actually buy one. I guess with this one, maybe if th someone had thought about it. It'd, it's, it'd be pretty quick to buy one. Yeah. Especially in the last shop you have plenty of money. It makes this fight very safe. Mm -hmm. In an environment where Metronome can literally be anything and Moonblast can lower your special attack, which makes you have to set up even more, being able to do something like that is really nice. Yeah, and it raises your crit rate to 50%. I'm not sure if you said that. Yeah. Yeah, I did say that. Uh, it's very, very nice. In older generations, it was not that high. I think the Dire Hit would like raise it to, what, 25%? That's, I think that's right, yeah. Okay, here, XP turn 1, because we are slower than Clefable. And we want to be able oh to my use God. the... Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mud slap! Well, <laughs> okay. nothing we can do about that. That is... Can you miss Encore? <laughs> I, oh, that is not going to be fun. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the crit. Oh my god. It dodged it. Oh, it dodged no. it. Load our special attack. Oh, and now, okay. Wow. This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that. No crit. You also got the special attack drop. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> okay. That's there we go. Okay, fairly high HP, so. <laughs> I have to hit Lil again, that's about don't, it. Don't want to miss on Lil again. Yeah. yeah. Lil again will KO us. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. That's a big one. This is like fairly harmless, but like... Still don't miss, please. Yeah, it like... It, it like... Yeah, it, it just usually doesn't do anything, even if you fail to KO it, I don't think. 
I'm not sure what hammer arm. Is it, is it hammer arm? Yeah. It, it, I think it has. It might have like double edge as well, maybe. Oh. Okay. But I feel, uh, mm. but uh, but the the eye is weird. It, uh, I forget what else it has, but uh... yeah, that was not that bad so far. I'm probably not gonna kill this, but like not uh, all that. Just crit for him. Please. Oh, uh, now it don't miss because flail. Well, yeah. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, maybe you would have. Is this the thing that has an attack boost? I forget. Yes, it is. Yes. Just for that flail. All right, that, that could have been much worse. <laughs> it was pretty bad still, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not what you want to see. I, I missed the, the start of the fight. Did you use, like, a dire hit or something? Yeah. 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 Uh, you also got mud slap. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. metronome mud slap, which was kind of scary. That's fun. yeah. <laughs> Mahina P. That makes perfect sense considering his name is Lunala. <laughs> oh yeah, the beware has pain split as well. Yeah, that's what it like. Yeah, Lucimine loves to use pain split on on her mon on on her beware and Miss Magius for whatever reason. But hey, not really complaining. Works for us. Yeah, and Miss Magius has a speed boost, so that's why we did not speed. Yeah. Yeah, all, all, all the Pokemon have different boosts with variables, Spadef and Will against special attack, Melodic's attack, Beware's defense, Miss Medius's speed. Doesn't say any of that, of course, but that's just something we know. Yeah, and the trade out main with Halucha that fight really is not good. This cutscene is also nice because you can relax your hand. You don't have to like to to mash for this to go by. So now we're gonna yeah, we're... make our make our switch to Lunala. I mean, we're still gonna be like kind of dual maining a little bit throughout the entirety of U4, which you'll see. There's like a lot of different strategies that we can do depending on how good or bad our Lunala is gonna be. Yeah, I'm sorry for making that part so complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not fun. So the main stat we're looking for on Lunara is a special attack. In an ideal world, we have 180 or more special attack. No, actually, in a very ideal world, we have 180. And we have like 183 special attack. But that's asking a lot because that is a positive nature with 21 IV. I agree. Being a legendary, it is guaranteed to have three 31 IVs, so that helps a little bit in us getting decent stats, but I mean, they could just be in, be in stats we don't care about. Yeah, but no Lunala is like a dead run. Like, uh, any Lunala can finish the run. So it's uh, not a big deal if we don't get the crazy good stats. Mm -hmm. And it just happens to be the case that 31 neutral special attack is just enough to go for all, most of all the good st uh, strategies. That's the most likely outcome, I think. Yeah, it's like 50%, at, like at least 50% would be good enough. Which doesn't start to sound that great now that I said it <laughs> out loud, but <laughs> it's, it's, trust me, it's good. Yeah, we're gonna, as soon as we get access to the controls again, we're gonna equip our spell tag, which we got earlier, and then use the candy that we got. And both of those are so that we can secure some of the ranges with, um, with good enough stats and increase our likelihood that we're going to be able to use Lunala how we want it to. Yeah, 
Yeah, and if, if you if you have in real life keen eye, you don't always even need the uh, the rare candy. But you have to be fast spotting your stats. Which, that late into the game, you're usually kind of nervous. Yeah, so. I mean, I'm probably just gonna <laughs> use the candy anyways. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Why, why not, if you've got it? Hey, it can it help you live defensively. So it's, uh... The only perk it has is that you don't learn um, Nightmare later on. Yeah, um, there's a couple of reasons why Lunala is so good. I mean, both of the legendaries, like, have the same kind of signature move, which is really the biggest appeal. But, like, also, Lunala has a really good ability that effectively makes it multi-scale, where it'll take much less damage if it's at full HP, which we can make extensive use of um, in all the setups. Um, but yeah, also, I mean, it's just the signature move, being able to hit through sturdy is like really, 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 really important. I can get the stats for you if you want. I'll do my best, but I appreciate it. Again, like, like what I've said, all you like really, really need is the special tech and everything else is just kind of extra. Yeah, all stats matter except for attack, but the ones that make you play differently are special attack. <laughs> and almost said no. I feel like I the B button at the wrong time. And this is also where setting your console to a specific time matters because this part of the game can give you hail if you're playing at a like there's a six hour window where there's hail here and hail is not only slow but also makes you lose um, time. That's, that's the same thing. <laughs> uh, uh, it, it's also risky. I mean, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it, 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 look, it's been a long run, all right. Yeah, yeah. Because it's 161. 161, 135. Exactly. 135 is nice. That makes you meet all the good the good stuff. Yeah, I think in previous streets you like used to shop before this, so taking the walk was slower or something? I don't know, or maybe that was conditional, I forget. Or maybe that was an Ultra Moon, I don't know, there was some kind of thing. I think it's an Ultra Moon, right? Where... Pretty sure. Maybe that was it, yeah. I can't remember. No, in Ultra Moon you don't get warped here. Okay, it must have been some kind of thing that happened sometimes in Amazing. Moon where you... Look at Shadow Ball. Okay, well... I'll be fine. You get free heals, so it should be, should be okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Don't, don't actually use it's just fast, uh, one frame faster. <laughs> yeah, there's like a. Oh wait, no, wait, wait! I know what it was. It's because you had. It's because he wanted to deposit pre reader because, like back then, Tapu Koko was in the timing. Right? No, no, you just run from that. Never mind, I'm talking garbage. What the heck am I thinking of then? I don't know. I'm, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm sure there was some... No, okay. Well, whatever. Well, there's a strat in Ultra Moon where sometimes you lead properly here and sometimes you don't, maybe. No, you need to pause it. What am I talking about? You... Yeah, never mind. I don't know what... I don't know. Look, I haven't had dinner yet, alright? <laughs> so, 1.5. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so here, the what you do severely depends on your stats and well, and how much damage you took. I'm not, I didn't see the damage, but it's usually fine. I can take T-Bolt, yeah. 
Okay, good. So head pop is will not be healing here, and will be doing one of uh, the strats that Garf found. It's version three, right? Which, yeah, yeah, which I renamed to version three. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So what version 3 essentially means is um, that uh, Headbuff's defenses are good enough to survive uh, one Darkest Lariat and one Earthquake from uh, Incineroar, uh, which means he can switch into Incineroar coming from Lunala will be able to use Encore on Darkest Lariat because it's faster than Incineroar as well. And um, just the, the way the turns work out, at the end he will take one, um, one Darkest Lariat and one Earthquake and can fully set up on Incineroar while that happens. There's also another even faster strat where you don't even use Encore because you can live Two earthquakes from Incineroar and a quick attack from Leafeon. But that requires crazy, crazy high defenses and HP. Like even having 31 IV plus defense is not enough. You have to have good HP along along that. Yeah, this this is the strat that comes up the most often from my memory. I think that's right, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's uh, and it, and it's you know it's 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 pre it's pretty fast as well, so it works out. Nice, didn't get fully paralyzed. <laughs> that would never happen. Never. Alright, so here Incinero will go for Dark Slaria because Lunala is very dead to that. Which Headbolt will be able to use Encore on. Because Earth Earthquake is much worse. He will always live a move here. Just trust. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't get credit for him. Yeah. Able to heal to full. Still is in Encore, so we'll go for another Dark Slariat. He can also now use his last setup item. And from here he just sweeps. And I don't think Leafeon's quick attack will do enough. Yeah, I don't think him. so. Yeah, it's like 20 something. Yeah, no, not, no, yeah that's... Should be fine. He needs the torrent boost here, however. And that is, I believe, the second fastest the strike can go. Thanks to spell tag, you can also just um, set up fully on the right with Lunala, go to plus six, and then use Moon Guy's beam on Incineroar, <laughs> which does not kill without the spell tag. Yeah, I mean, I remember rooting it for for like the case where you didn't have to use Encore, but I don't think my stats were ever actually good enough to make that work. I think that that that, that doesn't come out up very often at all. I, I don't think. No, it's like literally. If I look at the chart, is a uh, like the chart doesn't even start until you have like thirty IV neutral yeah. defense. It's like rarely and a consideration. <laughs> And it's like, even then, is like with 31 IV HP, you still 22% to die. <laughs> but you need really, really high defenses for that to work. And even from here, there's still a lot more that I'm seeing that no one else is seeing, in that, like, there's a lot of different ways you can do the Elite Four depending on how, you, how much special tech you have, how much speed you have. Um, there's like four different, entire different strategies that you can do. Um, my Lunala is not quite good enough, so I'm just doing the standard strat that any Lunala can do. Um, that involves doing Olivia first and then doing a little bit of extra setup. Um, oh, the fact that you can do the Elite Four in any order is just, I think, is so cool for for racing, for, for speedrun racing. Yeah. It's also a lot more. <laughs> it is, but it's, but it's cool. Oh yeah, right, you have that special attack. 161 sounds like a lot, but it's actually not. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's... Okay, this is... Now, at least Garp will know exactly what's happening here, because it is the... <laughs> <laughs> it's like the same as it would normally be without the spell tag, then? Exactly, that's the boring... <laughs> okay. The boring stuff. 
Yeah, because I mean, ideally, you'd want enough special attacks to be able to just not get not get yawned here. But uh, yeah, that, that's a nice benefit of spell tag in a lot of cases, but I guess not in all of them. Uh, no, the, the 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 good thing about spell tag is as a roller actually. You can, you can do that with Lunala then because you don't need to set up um, special attack at all. So you can just. You, like, when you have really good special attack, you can go Sableye and it dies to Moon Guys Beam immediately. You just need an X speed on Delmice, and then the rest just dies uh, without any setup. That's a big time save with that spell time. Okay. Yeah. No yawn and stuff. Yeah, that is good, yeah. That is. That makes. Carbing a bit awkward because I think Carbing has Moonblast. And so can Yeah, drop so I may need to I may need a special attack a lot more. I, mean, I, th I think one special attack drop is fine actually, so it should be pretty okay. Yeah, because you need yeah, you need three anyway. Need plus five. Alright, that is Okay, well. Okay, that's yeah. that's three. Now, just don't do it again and we should be good. Okay. Nice, yeah, should okay. Be fine. Yeah, plus 5 is guaranteed on Probo Pass with um, 18 negative IV, and I'm pretty sure we have, we have way more than that. Yep, yep. Your Probo Pass, it has like Thunder Wave and stuff, right? So it's just. Uh... And sturdy, notably. Yeah. So. And so does Golem. Yeah, yes. which, which you can yeah you can break through both of these with Moon Guys Beam. Nice. It's that quite. Was... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, good. I was just saying it was nice because it was pretty fast. It's quite. The, the, there's a bit of irony here in that you know Olivia is like one of the main things you'd want to use Lunala for when Primarina has a type advantage. Yeah, but, uh, exactly. But 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 sturdy is is really that big a deal, you know, being able to break through it with Moon Guys Beam, which Primarina can't do. Yeah, you never use Primaria regardless of how bad your Lunala is. <laughs> yeah. So this is where um, Primarina gets to shine in the E4. Um, in that, since we have Encore, we can pretty much make this setup trivial. And we, we don't even need that much setup anyways because we have the type advantage against the fighting types. Um, but it's like just, it's not a problem because we're just going to get fake out turn one most of the time and then we can just Encore that. So we just don't take any damage, realistically. Yeah, in this game there are some moves that, if you try an Encore, will force force a switch out from your opponent. But uh, Fake Out is not one of them, even if it even though it only works on the first turn. Um, yeah, we also saw that, it, that on uh, they stay in on Cosmic Power as well because they're like still boosting their defenses, I guess. But like offensive stat boosts, if you Encore it into one of those, they do switch out of that. But yeah, we can just fake out this. Uh, well, well, no, we can, we can get faked, faked out, rather, and uh, Encore it and set up for free. Yeah, and it's important to use X special attack turn one here in case there's no fake out. Yeah. Because you do not kill this with a, without the X special attack. So we have high HP, so we can... I, th I think I have enough HP and defense to be able to not have to heal for Kahili. Yeah, that seems... Yeah, 125 seems uh, to be very high. I don't want you to for defense, but... Yeah, this is fine. Also, we could Sparkling Aria some stuff to save super effective text, but the problem with that is that if you use Sparkling Aria, um, Hala can like see that you used a water move and then switch in switch into his Polyrath, which has water absorb. So you just don't want to do that before beware. Want hydro pump? Yeah, it would be cool if that actually had some utility, but it, it doesn't. 
<laughs> I mean, I'm not sure, but I once translated Ito Taka's notes in Son to like English with a with a deep L, and um, it they clearly said hydropump somewhere. I don't know. I've, 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 I'm I'm pretty sure I at least thought about it, and it just could it have said don't teach hydropump. Yeah, maybe <laughs> just like never teach hydropump. What are you doing? <laughs> I, the only way place where I could imagine is like on Snorlax, but it's like you don't even in in Sun you don't I don't even think that they use Lunala at all on Champion. In Sun, yeah, I hope not. No, no, I know you. Mean, uh, no, yeah, uh, I mean, right Primarina, on. sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I think they just. Yeah, it's just a. Uh, I think they just use Sokolia for the whole fight there. I know the battle of shame yeah. on Acerola with with Primarina. Pretty easy setup hoping, when I get fake out here. Yeah, hoping for a fake out. Yeah. We don't want to see confused, right? Yeah, but that's usually what happens anyway. Yeah. This Sable is surprisingly Holy. fast. No, nice. Good. Got the fake out. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to heal that now. For heal, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, all things considered, this fight is not that bad, but Lunalas that have decent stats can do it a little bit better. And so you can adjust the order to make it more efficient. So like we like we've been talking about, I'm gonna have to heal before the next fight. Sometimes, if your HP and defense is like really good, you can tank uh, two steel wings from Skarmory, and then you don't have to heal. This is a marathon anyway, so I would be would be healing and probably gonna save as well, just just in case. Yeah, because starting from here, this is no longer uh, safe. Mm -hmm. Also, that Drift Bloom is supposed to be like a Baton Pass Pokemon. But, but it blasts. I think it's like always it, blasts. But I, but, but I think because of how the AI works, because everything else has a stronger ghost yep. move, it would always come out last exactly. against anything. Yep. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, they didn't quite think that one through fully, I don't think. Hmm, I've seen Baton Pass on that before. It probably didn't but work. I think it, <laughs> I think it was an Ultra Moon. Wait, now I'm curious. Maybe it moves that's different in Ultra Moon. Yeah, it might probably. be a little different. Maybe they maybe they made it so that it sometimes didn't come out last in that game. Oh, and you have plenty of heal items left. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, optimal to heal both Pokemon at the same time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come closer. <laughs> I can't battle you from there, except we're gonna like stand at opposite parts, sides of this arena afterwards. <laughs> As it is like how we randomly battle this girl we've never seen before. What was the reason again we don't use Lunala here? Clearly, breaking sturdy here ca cannot be great, right? All right, are we getting a switch out? Yes, oh, always. It's all good though. Yeah, if you if if you're not in kill range, she will. There's like a chance that she will switch out, which is slower. Yeah. 
And from my testing, it was even more likely that she switches out if you use Psychic to break sturdy instead of Moonblast. Oh this really? Might have, might, have been why you, might have been why you don't use Lunala. It's uh, pretty bulky and has punishment. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, punishment's bad. <laughs> Yeah, punishments are dark moves that get stronger the more stat boosts you have. So you would get wrecked by that move. And even if it didn't go for that, it was. I was caught off guard. Why, why did the battle let over? <laughs> <laughs> it's back. All right, nice. That was the last Elite Four battle. Just one battle left. And you got a champion, which is arguably harder than all four of them. Wouldn't it be cool if we got Miracle in a marathon? That'd be cool. It would. Like, there's a huge, there, there's like a huge difference between a fast fight and a slow fight in in this one. Like. If you get Miracle, you can encore it and 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 be and be fine. But uh, I didn't. I'm not entirely. I'm not entirely sure exactly how like your special bulk plays into the odds of it using Miracle. But I, I'd guess that being being naive, you you're probably less likely to see it here. You think? Uh, okay. Mm, I but, don't. But, I, but I'm not Miracle. sure. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you know. Maybe I'm reverse cursing it. Who knows? <laughs> I'm, yeah, I've, I've not seen any correlation. Like you, 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 you can even use Thunder Wave when Thunderbolt can kill you from from like from your health you had. So it's not very clear what what the AI does. All right. Well, we'll see what There's happens. Also there's also a strat here where you lead with Lunala and set up in Lycanroc's face with a and lead two X defenses and hope you A don't get crit and two don't get defense draw more than once. Yeah, I mean it's just a lot of setup where things can go wrong. It's pretty scary to be faced with that on the on the last fight. Plus, you know, if if you do get Miracle, then this version's faster anyway. Well, that's good. Oh, it's not. It's not. Is it not? No, really? I, no, because you have to break sturdy and usually have to heal. Like, I don't know. It's it, the switch is also not fast. I I still lose my PB loses the like fifteen seconds to Ringo. Oh okay. Didn't realize it would be that big a difference. Well, anyway, we've got Thunderbolt at, uh, at any rate. So no encore miracle strats today. No, but this was fast because we died like fast. <laughs> yeah. This is also where you kind of don't want to drop Magnus on special attack because then it takes longer to kill you. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it tried. A little spicy. <laughs> so I use the max potion now because I literally only have one full restore, so I want to make sure I can use that at the end of the setup. You have 11 X speeds left. I just want to mention that. <laughs> yeah, a little, little bit excessive, I guess. Yes, so even if Lunala doesn't really need it, we broke sturdy on Magnuson in case we got Mirror Code and could have encored uh, Magnuson into that. Because it's still considered a damaging move. And so he would not switch out if we use an encore on it. Alright, with that, we should be good. Sucker Punch crit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Sucker Punch on its own is rare enough. Yeah, you have to call it 5 up of a hand. <laughs> yeah, so this Distiduai can go for Sucker Punch, but it's not likely. Yeah, no. Yeah, didn't bother. That's gonna be it. Hope you all enjoy it. This is. It was like a pretty smooth run overall, I'd say. And also decently on the estimate. True. Despite a death. Two deaths. Died to Lorandis and Habu. Yes. True. true, 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 true. 
or one and a half because we don't know for sure about Hapu. It was like <laughs> nearly guaranteed to be dead. Oh no, we had three deaths. We died. Oh yeah, we once. Were... <laughs> yeah. How did we forget about that? Yeah, no. Where was there? Died to two grunt fights before the electric trial. That was a wipe. Ah. Uh... I don't even remember when time is now. Was that time that that, that no, one? Af after, the, after the Hall of Fame? I forget. After Hall of Fame, there's some more text, and then there's after the text, there's like a oh, fade Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty long fade out. It'll be like, well, I'll, we'll let Lily know too, or something, and then it's like a really extended fade out. It, it becomes really clear at all. Yeah, it's like in 20, 30 seconds. It's in a minute. In a minute? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> It shows how often I reach this part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is there is more gameplay after this. You you do you do um you do come across Tapu Coco and basically see if you can get a first first try flea. But yeah, uh, and, and, and then there's more mashing after that. Mm -hmm. But the community voted to nix that from the timing. Yeah, and that's when where leading Lunal is actually quite nice because you you are much faster than Primarina and it's more likely to run from Tapu Coco. But yeah, <laughs> it's not part of the run anymore. Alright, time it will be coming up. And... Time. GG <laughs> G to Headbomb. GG. GG's. Uh, awesome, that was... That was very entertaining for a uh, like it, it's it's always hard for like these really long runs to kind of stay engaged all the time. But y'all were uh, a lot of a lot of funny banter. Thank you. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of laughs around. That was good. Thank you. That means a lot. Great time watching it. Yeah. Um, chat. I hope you enjoyed that. Head Bob and company. Any shout outs you would all like to do? Um. I mean, just all all PSR has been has been great. But um, if you're interested in running 3ds games, if you're interested in learning about 3ds games, be sure to join the uh, the 3ds Pokemon Speedrunning Discord. Um. Also, any of the other discords, the DSPSR is great, and Gen One to Three is great, Switch Discord is great. Um, there's just there's just so much to the community is like so awesome. If you just like want to get engaged a little bit, it's it's a great place to be. Yeah, you know, don't be afraid to ask questions. Uh, if you there's lot there's lots of things that you know I'm sure that are naturally more obvious to people who have. Run these for years, but you know they they can. They're, they're, but there's lots of people who are willing to willing to give you a hand if you if you need it. You know, uh, a lot. Um, yeah, the community's built up a wealth of experience over the years. Uh, we all help each other out. So, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I think I'm great. I had, I had a great time. Thank you for having me, GDQ. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And, uh, make as sure well. to follow. Make sure to follow Headbot. Edge. Yep. Make sure to follow Hogwarts Hub. Also. God, God of God of 3D speedrunning Headbot. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Drop everyone to follow uh, Headbot underscore on Twitch. The you can actually just follow really easily if you just hover over Headbot's name on the title of the Twitch stream. If you're watching here live, if you're watching on YouTube after the fact, uh, it should be in the description as well. You can also follow uh, twitch.tv slash warthab, twitch.tv slash graph with lighting. And thank you all so much for, for doing this. It's a lot of fun. And uh, tomorrow we have PB Precipice uh, doing Mario Wonder. Uh, that'll be 1 p.m. Eastern. And then after that, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, I'll be back with uh, Tucker the Rat running Park Gold, Soul Silver, Any Percent with no RNG manipulation, which is a uh, pretty unique showing that we haven't been able to do on GDQ before. And Park Gold, Soul Silver also is been pretty underrepresented at GDQ, so I'm really excited to have that tomorrow. So if you're interested in that, or uh, Mario Wonder as well, tune in tomorrow. But again, it's 1 p.m. Eastern and then 4 p.m. Eastern. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Thanks again for watching. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs>